No, and also I think I would be worried about like if I had a lion and I had a, a wife. If I was in Stephen Chase's perspective, I'd be worried about like the lion alphaing me and then like fucking my wife. Yeah, yeah, you would have to worry about that, <laughs> right? So I think the cheetah. If just, you have a wife, you're already gonna have lion in the house. Yeah, yeah, classic yeah. woman. That, well, although if you have a wife in the house, you also have a cheetah in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the bracket, episode forty-five. Today we are doing the best animal to have tamed as a pet. We are joined by Rudy uh, for this one, and also Stephen Che not in studio because he's been sniffing too many farts. Yeah, Che with pink eye. Yeah. Side note today, I don't see it as Portnoy, <laughs> um, but it was accurate. Can we he just can, walk by me? Can you he lean in and see? Me. Okay. Yeah, can, can we see? Yeah, so let's see it. Jeez. Oh, yeah. It's, Christ. It's, it's it definitely... It's hey. definitely one of the easier diseases to diagnose. To diagnose in the Quite spot, literally yeah. the name. The yeah. same is the name of the <laughs> yeah. disease. More things should be like that. Yeah, pink the guy, eye. The guy who invented the name of pink eye was like really on one. I've got blood poop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes. No, wait. Oh. When did you get, how did you have that on hand? Hey. <laughs> I, I, I took a train home and then I, uh, I my wife was like, you should probably go get an eye patch. So I went to CVS and I got an eye patch. <laughs> It actually is smart because yeah. I assumed it was for like a Buccaneers thing. Yeah, same. <laughs> Look at, it looks good. I mean, you kind of you kind of pull it off, and it might just be again. I assumed also that it was a Bucks thing, but it hey, why don't you give us a hard R? <laughs> <laughs> R. Thanks, man. <laughs> it was actually kind of good. It was uh, good. All right, but before we get into the bracket, let's hear from our first sponsor, Fireball. Whoa. To let loose, oh, that's a good rhyme. That's a great ad copy right there. And have some fun. During these moments of stressful adulting, and you want to have yourself some fun, Fireball Whiskey is there to help you say, fuck it, and free your fire. Fireball takes any event to the next level, whether it's mundane work, happy hour, crazy pregame, or just watching football with some friends. Their iconic cinnamon flavor tastes fire and goes down easy, making it the ultimate crowd pleaser. That's why it's the number one shot in the U.S., which I believe. Everyone gets fireball shots. I get fireball shots from since I was in college until now. Um, the fireball 50 milliliter shooters are perfect to ignite a pregame, tailgate, or darty. Plus, no shot glass needed. It's just crack it and knock it back. I again, just mentioned, drink it all the time. I, that's an easy shot. Like You don't you don't want to go around and ask every person, are you okay taking this shot? Are you okay taking that shot? You just say, I'm getting around a fireball. Everyone drinks it. Next time you're deciding between adulting and fun, say, fuck it, and free your fire with an ice cold shot of fireball. That's Shout out to real. Fireball. Fireball is big on this one. Yeah, the bracket moving on up in the world. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks to Fireball. Uh, to start off our bracket... We're going to do it starting off with the 12 versus the 5. The 12 late edition. A couple people replied with it. I don't I don't totally get it, but I guess, it, I don't know. Cheetah. A cheetah is the very first option. Um, I think a cheetah, I don't know what you would do with it if you had it tamed as a pet. You couldn't enjoy it unless you were out, like, on a racetrack. Like, what I don't mean? know. You what, can what would you do with it? You with animal. It. You could ride it. The, I don't think che- no, if I'm going to have a jungle cat, enough. I want a big-ass jungle cat. Cheetahs aren't that big. I don't think you can ride it. I don't uh, think it's they're pretty big. They're not, they're not like tigers, but they're big. But they're not. They're smaller than lions and leopards and jaguars and pumas. I like the cheetah choice. If it's perfectly tamed, theoretically, you could ride it. I think it's, it's too, too small. It's I think way it's too small. You're too, th- you're too thick. Yeah. yeah. Cheetahs are. Can we look up a cheetah small? size. It, okay. So look up cheetah weight. I think is what we're looking for. Looking it up now. I think it's a little bit bigger than. I mean, you can't ride like a Newfoundland. Dude, it's between forty six to one hundred and sixty pounds. Ain't no way any of us are riding. No way. Maybe KB, but like none of us are actually like riding. Maybe a little tiny ass KB uh, over there. Yeah. Did you do riding on a cheetah, little boy? <laughs> Dude. Dude, I if I commuted to work on a buck sixty cheetah, I'll be sick. Let's say if you just see in the bike lane, KB riding down on a Cheat, cheetah, a, an adult, adult cheetah. We got at some high variants here. It's forty six to one hundred and sixty pounds. That's what I'm saying. It's just like it's. There's no way. But if you were, if you came zooming down the bike lane, that would be the funniest yeah. thing. <laughs> Your hair's all pushed back when you get in. <laughs> so we talked about last week about how much we hate cyclists. Would you hate cheetah riders? No, if there's a I cheetah lane, cheetah riders way less. No, no the yeah. cheetah lane would command respect. Yeah. Uh, if I just imagine it, like you ever see the videos where they have like the the um, like the little dolls that look too much like babies and they tie it to like a greyhound and have the greyhound run and it looks like a baby's yeah, yeah, riding yeah, yeah. A, like a cheetah or a dog i just imagine that would be kb on that cheetah i feel like cheetahs are pretty close to domestic domesticization because like they can be raised with golden retrievers and i think they take on like the yeah mm-hmm. i've seen like people on tiktok that just have like wild exotic animals with yeah. like a house cat and cheetahs have definitely been in the mix 
Which well, if you crazy. if you can't ride a cheetah, what is the what do you do with it? It's it's you're the cheetah guy. You're yeah, it is. It is a flex. Yeah, I guess so. I picture it like MTV Cribs, you know, like Mike Tyson when he's like, "I yeah. got fucking tigers in here." Yeah, I mean, well, playing fetch would be awesome. That would be. Oh, but you need oh, yeah. such a wide open space; it's crazy. You need like a potato cannon to shoot a tennis ball. Like, <laughs> yeah, to, like It'd be very funny. You, right, Rudy? You'd need a potato cannon. Yes. Yeah. You could have just said cannon. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea the, of having uh, a cheetah in a studio apartment in Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> it's just miserable. Yeah. yeah. yeah I got this at, fucking at the cheetah. zoo I go to, there is a there's a cheetah exhibit and a cheetah's best friend in that specific exhibit, I don't know if it's all cheetahs, but is uh, like a yellow lab. Yeah. Like they're they around in there and they're they're buddies. Gotcha. Not all cheetahs are yeah. best friends I would assume, with the yellow uh, lab. I imagine most the, the majority wild. of cheetahs would kill. Yellow labs are indigenous to Africa though. People forget oh, that. Not yeah. true. Don't don't. Oh yeah, it's uh, <laughs> no. That's fact. It says it on the cheetah Wikipedia page. Exactly. They, <laughs> they fuck with golden retrievers heavy. Heavily. Yeah. Cheetahs going up against kind of. Um, I would assume this is going to be an easy sweep, but I I just need to say it, the line. It's going up against the line. You guys are just talking about how bi- if you were to pick a big cat, you'd probably pick a line, right? Oh uh, no, I would just want. I'd want a bigger cat than a cheetah. Bigger cat in general. Oh, and we're gonna get joined. Zah, come on in. So, Zaw was originally going to join us as well. He got a little tied up with something else, but that tied up thing is now untied. So, we're going to have Zaw join in. And I think Zaw is perfect for this because all of us grew up were in areas where the wildest animal around us was like a bear if you're lucky. If like, you're lucky. If you're extremely lucky. A lot more dangerous area animals around the area where Zaw grew up. And you can actually, I feel like, give us a better perspective on it than pretty much anyone here. Jesus, you're gassing me up a lot. But thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank so, our first matchup, Zaw, okay. is the cheetah. Versus the lion. Which one would you rather have tamed as a pet is the question. You know what? And the cheetah, the work the work is done for you already. A cheetah, a cheetah is, is fairly, towards humans that is at least, hmm. it's fairly, fairly tame. So that, that won't require much work. However, the cheetahs are very, very, so I had, I had a sanctuary right about like 10 minutes away from uh, <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Ten minutes away from where I live, um, mm-hmm. there's a Lion and Cheetah Park. It's called Lion and Cheetah. Park. I think we had it on the documentary. I believe we might have shot it on the documentary. Nice, but yeah, cheetahs. Cheetahs are very, very hard to maintain. They get a lot. Uh, they get foot and mouth very easy. Mm. <laughs> the disease is easy and all that, and it's it's crazy. So, gotcha. so I would prefer. Cheetahs are easier in that sense, but once you have them tame, you have to like be taking them to the vet and all that. Uh, just, line. So you're picking the line over that. Uh, we're actually going to have actually, we're going to have facts in this. Episode. Yeah, I was going to say that. Would, yeah. We thought it'd be awesome to ride a cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think you or KB could ride a cheetah? I'm not a thrill seeker myself. I hate <laughs> adrenaline. I hate adrenaline kind of stuff. But KB wants to hop on something that goes 70 miles an two hour. Two birds of a feather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my guest. KB drag race. My guest. Down seventh. I'm all good. I'm all good. I'll watch him from. I'll watch him. I'll watch him ride him. So it's possible you could ride yeah. a cheetah. Yeah, they, I mean, you could. They, or I thought they were too frail. You could try. I think you could. Yeah, You're probably too heavy. If you yeah. spread out your weight across, they aren't the that big. Length. Cheetahs aren't cheetahs no. aren't that big at all. You said they maxed out at 160 pounds. Yeah, they're not big. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm heavier than 160 pounds. So. Yeah, I guess I don't know. It would be hard. Uh, che, lion or cheetah? Hmm. Um. I think what we are not factored because these are going to be your pets, so they're going to be living with you. Lions are going to take some monster dumps, and <laughs> cheetahs. <laughs> While they're not as big, can fit around your home a little bit more easier. I think they're a little bit more pliable, can get around edges and bends. Um, and for that reason, like, I don't, the line is just so big. I don't think it would really fit. Like, I could go through a doorway, but it'll be a little bit cumbersome. So I'm going to go for a, for a cheetah for that reason. Plus, that I can be friends with dogs. Yeah, fact. We, we, that's what we were talking about before. Um, like Stephen Che mentioned, all cheetahs are friends with Yellow Labs, right? Yeah. Bonafide fact. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> KB, that lion works. or cheetah? <laughs> um, cheetahs, but their diet is, but you'd have to feed it like antelopes and stuff. Meat, I think. Same with lots uh, of meat. Yeah. I same with the lions lion. have an easier diet. Is that true? They'd probably have to eat more. Are they omnivores? Lions don't eat a, a, as much of a variety of meats okay. as cheetahs. And the cheetah would, I would, I wouldn't want a scary beast. Nobody animal. checks you on. Yeah, can we yeah. get like a, a um, fact check on? I would also. Right. He said it's true. He's, he's, I think a cheetah very, would. A cheetah would be closer to a human, or a, they they require a lot of mental stimulation and yeah. physical. Yeah, I think it would be more an easy. Tra- it would be it would be a cheetah for me. 
Another one for the cheetahs, Tommy. Yeah, I'm going cheetah too. I, I think cheetah. I, I have less fast. I think they're cool. I just think they're mm. cool looking things. They run really fast. A lion. I mean, if, if I'm thinking logistically in my New York City apartment, a lion would take up a hell of a lot of room. Yeah. Uh, a cheetah would take up a decent amount of room, but definitely less room. You know, almost the size of a really big dog. Uh, so you could eat all the cockroaches in your apartment. Yeah, I threw both those pairs of shoes out as soon as I got home <laughs> last week. Uh, so I'll go with the cheetah. All right, another one for the cheetah, Rudy. Uh, I would love to be a contrarian, but I've been dead set on cheetah this whole time, mostly from a uh, feng shui perspective. I I want something in my my home that is sort of like a quagmire type vibe. That's sort of what I'm going for, and I think the cheetah. cheetah you're going quagmire. for a quagmire type <laughs> <What>? animal, yeah. <laughs> from, from just like a just just a, a decoration, yeah, aesthetic gotcha. standpoint. And uh, so I think the cheetah is just a cool cooler flex, like a lion. They're very beautiful, but they just sort of like lay there. Whereas like a cheetah can move and it's sexy and it's it's suave. Do you want to fuck this yeah, cheetah? The, the more you're talking about, this, you mentioned quagmire. And the then lion's like a dead is. fish. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm not embarrassed to say that cheetahs are objectively sexier than a I lion. I mean, that is they true. are. They're yeah. objectively sexier. They have they not, have not as majestic or strong. No, Eagle. no, and also I think I would be worried about like if I had a lion and I had a, a wife. If I was in Stephen Chase's perspective, I'd be worried about like the lion alphaing me and then like fucking my wife. Yeah, yeah, you would have to worry about that, <laughs> right? So I think the cheetah. If just, you have a wife, you're already going to have lion in the house. Yeah, yeah, classic yeah. woman. Yeah. Although if you have a wife in the house, you also have a cheetah in the house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, fuck yeah! Oh. Think about that. Yeah. Oh fuck! Oh. Oh. She's lion. She's <laughs> a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole ass animal kingdom, my bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going. I'm going cheetah. She links up with other men. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheetah or lion? Um, mm. It's lion. Mm. Uh, first mm. of all, we're not taking sound into this. Cheetahs are like they're they're active noise makers. Lions roar. They roar every once in a while. If you have a male lion, that's like having just an awesome ass beanbag chair. You're gonna chill on that. They're lazy. You just feed them. They're huge. It's a lion. Imagine going out of town and be like, yo, can you feed my cat? Having somebody, there's a fucking lion in there. You could do the same thing with a cheetah. A cheetah could be mistaken. Less for of a pop. Un, yeah, wait, less of a pop. Less of a pop. Yeah. Also, uh, you're you're going to end up being one of those people that looks like their pets, kind of. Yeah, I guess so. If yeah. I walked in and it was a cheetah, I'd be like, oh, at least it wasn't a lion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a lion for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going, I'm going lion just for like, uh, if I would... If I were to have a dog, I don't want it to be like a yippy running around dog. I want it to be lazy and quiet. Yeah, so I think you're you're judging this based off the same sort of criteria I, I am for the most part, which is like which animal do I want to be able to hug the yeah. most? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Owen, uh, I'm going lion as well. King of the jungle. If you could like domesticate that and have that be your house pet, you Take are the, the king of the jungle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I think that's the sickest flex. Yeah, to just have a lion that you have trained in your home. Yeah, that's yeah. mine. It does that's what insane. I want. You're now the king of the jungle. I never really thought about that way. Uh, Cheetah's going to win by a vote and move on through. Next huh. up, we have the four seed. A lot of responses. This I, just, I, just, I just forgot about something. Did you know, there, have you guys seen the video of Christian the lion? Christian He's the like, lion, no. Like best friends with a human and the human like trained him. And then several years yeah. later, the human goes back to see him, and the lion runs up to him and gives him an actual hug. That Sick. Made him yes. Yeah. They're gonna say they just fucking him. mauled him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. They recognized him. That's it. That's true. That was a very good video. Very wholesome. You smell uh, you once. Kyle and I uh, grew up next to this town called Zanesville, and this guy that's awesome killed that's himself. Cool no, this oh. is depressing. This guy killed himself, <laughs> but before he did, let all of his exotic animals go. And like we 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 had school canceled that day because they were just like. A bunch of lions and fucking tigers like running right. around. And this I, I've been to that zoo. Yeah, the they put, it was a private collection. Oh, they put them all the down. Didn't they? Yeah. yeah, they killed them all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn, that's a dickhead. That's yeah, a dickhead. kind of a ball. Like if you're gonna go, it's kind of a cool way to go. They out. let his animals go, but then Just they let a whole all... zoo loose. Yeah, it was the fact nuts. that they died sucks, but yeah, that is kind of a interesting move. Uh, He's a four seed in this one is gonna be the orca. The orca got, oh. got a lot of orca responses. The people kid, love orcas. People do love orcas. They're they're fascinating to look at. I think they're you're talking about sexy animals. I think orcas are like among the fish subcategory, very, easily the sexiest fish. Yeah, very 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 aesthetically pleasing curves. <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah. Um, and they're always kind of like lubed up. Yeah, they are very. They look like they are slippery. <laughs> yeah, it's like ready for a slip and slide at any moment. What what are those orcas are cool? Yeah. What are those massage porn videos called? And I'm not. And uh, it's like a Nuru? Something with an Nuru, Nuru, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nuru, where they, yeah, they like put you on a harness and you just like 
are hanging from the ceiling and sliding across each other. You and I could not be more different. That's not. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that ain't new no, roo. No, that ain't new roo. That's not new roo. Boys, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I, oh, come on. There's no. definitely a lot of loot. No, they just I'm talking about the client comes in uh, unassuming. There's always an air. Nervously mattress. gets na- naked. They yeah. all get naked. They rub and then they fuck. Oh, okay. the butt massage goes. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, Oops. Well, well, in. Oh. Yeah. yeah. They made a gif out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They did. That's true. Yeah. Damn. Shout, um, out, shout out Lisa Ann. Yep. The, the orca is going up against it. I'm going to give you guys the choice of whether or not you want to um, allow this or not. This is all real animals that we're doing. The one difference, in because people respond to this on Twitter, Tommy is on your list. A dragon. No. How to train your dragon. No. no. Do dra- I'm saying, no. No. throw it out there. You could make it a Komodo dragon if you want. You could make it any other sort of dragon. I was thinking Game of Thrones, legit dragon. Yeah, I so as was I. But if not, we can dump it, and I'll just bump the rest of these up one. So I think that's the... Um, I don't a know. dragon? Yeah. I'd settle for not wyvern. a real thing. Listen, we're, we're going to run out of ideas one day, and we can always just come back to mythical beast. Yeah, Dude, that could be some separate yeah. thing. That's true. Want to swap it to a Komodo dragon? Those, those suck. Are, those, yeah. Uh, they, yeah they, those are our pets already. And they smell bad. They're stinky pets. Pick something off the chain game. I'll pick something off the chain game. I'll do. How about sea otter? I love sea otters. Ooh. I think they're okay for a 13 seed. They're okay. like little. They're like little dogs. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would just rather have a little dog. In this case, you could have one that's like it can go in the tub, and that's basically it. But yeah, I, uh, my dog sub it in for wasp. Sub I'd it love in. to have a domesticated <laughs> wasp. You're like, go get him. Yeah, single wasp. All right, single wasp versus an orca. Oh, you go first. <laughs> Um, I think an orca would take up every square foot of my apartment, <laughs> <laughs> but it would be funny to look at. So I'll do that. Yeah, one for the one for the. Orca. You walk in, it's just all orca. <laughs> Nothing but orca. I'm going wasp. Wasp, dude. If I get cut off walking in the streets and this thing's buzzing by me, I'm gonna go get them. Wasps die after a single. I don't thing? think so. Is that just bumblebees? I think it's just bumblebees. Oh, okay, so the singular wasp. Just have them chilling around me. Nobody would fuck with you if you just have a wasp. You have a constantly right trained wasp. And I'd feel like Link from Legend of Zelda with like a little oh, yeah. fairy. <laughs> All right, Rudy? Uh, are orcas the... Are they, they're, is that different than a killer whale? Same thing. I, think I believe thing. it's the same thing, right? I, I, okay. literally, I had no idea what orca was. I literally just had to Google. It's yeah. a killer I, I whale, had Google, right? I had to Google yeah. both. Yeah, so it's a killer whale and that, what did you say? The sea otter? Yes. Uh, well, I, os- or wasp is what we're going to go wasp, against. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. wasp. Well, I'm very glad that we took sea otter off the list because I would have had to point out the fact that sea otters even though they're widely loved are actually necrophiliacs and rapists really really yeah, yeah, they, they hold hands they in the water <laughs> they, they engage in rape and necrophilia yeah but did you see that viral video of the zoo in dubai they have sea otters and there's little holes they like getting their hands rubbed yeah they come up, put their hands through no it's yeah. adorable it's, it feels wrong of you to say every sea otter is a rapist yeah <laughs> you're making a lot of stereotyping yeah. I mean, no it's not stereotyping it's just part of their culture and it makes me <laughs> <laughs> It, not all sea otters <laughs> it makes me sick that everyone's like oh my god these things are so cute and they put their hands there and you're rubbing yeah. all that's going through their head is rape and necrophilia it's disgusting yeah. but bill cosby's a culture vulture <laughs> yeah, yeah but uh i think that uh from just a respect standpoint i think or- orcas are my f- f- one of my favorite animals and when they are domesticated they get the droopy fin they get mm-hmm. depressed and then they end up killing somebody out of revenge yeah. So I don't feel good about domesticating orcas from a uh, humanitarian standpoint. But even with that said, I have to go with the wasp just because it's just a very – I would do it for the bit. Mm-hmm. Like someone comes into my apartment, they're like, oh, you have a wasp in here. It's like, no, 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 no. That's, that's like – I would name it something with a W, like Wendell. Mm-hmm. Wendell the wasp. Wasp. <laughs> <It's my> Alliteration. <laughs> yeah, he's my wasp. And I would build him like a little home. Yeah, in my wall, like a birdhouse, but it's a wasp house. I like that. Yeah, and then you can make a lot of jokes about wasps. You know, I look like I'm a wasp. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah true. Oh, so that'd be fun. And then you know, go to Nantucket and bring your wasp. And he's like, oh, I got my wasp homie. And everyone's like, oh, we're yeah. gonna bring like a rich white guy. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's a literal wasp. And they only live 22 days. I don't really want a pet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I think a long-winded that's the experiment yeah. more than anything. And 22 days is a perfect length for a bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, ideal bit length. So I think the wasp is a clear favorite. I mean, you'd even get the really good bit of like your wasp dying and like having a little wasp funeral. Little wasp, wasp funeral. funeral. Yeah, <laughs> he crossed the rainbow bridge. Wasp. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tommy. Oh yeah, I have no use for a whale. I mean, what would I do? <laughs> what would I do with a whale? I don't even know where I. Where would, is it like? Do I have a really big house? Let's say, like, theoretically, you can you have some sort of enclosure you can have it in. No. Not, I, I, a house with private cold. beach would almost be better. You go out there and it comes up to you from yeah. the ocean. Yeah. No, that doesn't do it for me. Mm-hmm. But it, what am I, I'm going to pet it or something? It's too All big. slimy. 
Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take a wasp. I'll ta- I like the idea of attacking people. I don't think like, you would be able to live with a wasp near well, you. Well, I would have times. to give it its own room. <laughs> I would like I would not be I do get too afraid of bugs, but if it was controlled and I could just use yeah. it as a weapon for three weeks and take out my enemies, then I'd probably like that. Fair. I'll go with a wasp. One for another one for a wasp. A oh, wasp. Wasp, without a doubt. Yeah, it's a whale. Where would you? Put it? <laughs> Where would you put it? Yeah, it only would really make. We need sense. the ocean. Right? Yeah, you, if you lived in Venice, it would be cool because you uh, ride it to the cafe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that would be kind of dope. We don't live in Venice. You could yeah. charge so much for Uber. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you have a wife, you also have a whale in your house. Damn. Oh, 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 there he yeah. is. God damn it. Oh, damn. Uh, Za. So for this one, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, it's got a little story to it too. My first time ever visiting to, uh, the states in '99, we went to uh, it was to drop my brother off for college. We went to Sea World, and uh, mm-hmm. they had the. I'm probably gonna get. I think this is now. You can get canceled for this type of shit. Apparently, it's not good enough. Uh, but, that's uh, probably like uh, the whale. I've been whale display. You know how they they have you sitting in the front and they do the fucking thing where they're swimming across and. You're in the splash. You're in the splash. You're in the splash. Zone. Zone. In the splash I zone. was so obsessed with that, and that <laughs> that just stuck with me my entire. That was actually one of the. One of the reasons why I, I moved uh, moved to Florida because that experience just stuck with me. My I love I loved Sea World. Yeah. And so because of that, I got to go with the with the orca, the killer whale, and oh, yeah. uh, we got land back home. So yep. just, just extend the swimming pool. Figure that out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> got that figured out. All right, Stephen Che, orca or the single wasp. Tommy said that he had no use for a whale, but I heard last summer he was pulling whales left and right at the Jersey Shore. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh damn. There were giraffes. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, to be honest, one of my great fears in life would to be was, has always been to be underwater with a whale just because once I went snorkeling and I saw a very large rainbow fish and I was terrified. So I thought, what is the biggest fish or mammal you can see underwater? And it's an orca whale um, or, or a sperm whale, some type of enormous fish. I would just get so scared. I'd probably die of a heart attack on the spot. Whales, no use for them. Wasp, interesting. Um, the lifespan's great. Uh, my cousin actually used to catch bees and then put them in the freezer and then they become like zombies unconscious. Mm-hmm. and then he would tie uh like dental floss around them oh, so you I could see. kind of control them uh very weird thing i never yeah. actually saw yeah. it but he told me about it and uh yeah that seems interesting if you could actually do that and you know mess with the wasp for three weeks that sounds like a pretty ideal pet you mm. have kids no okay <laughs> yeah. uh he does yeah <laughs> yeah, bad news. They're all bees. Um, this was like 20 years ago. Yeah. Next up, we have the nine seed versus the eight seed. I didn't mean for it to work out this way, but the nine seed is a blue whale. Um, or just a massive. <laughs> I mean, this is the last whale on the list. I promise you. We can't have not going to switch up the, the debate list. at all. <laughs> we just can't have two whales on the list. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to happen this way. And now that I'm looking at it, it's really stupid. But um, either way, it's going to lose because it's going, uh, at least on, I think. It's going up against the eight seed uh, small monkeys. So small monkeys is going to include oh, yeah. chimpanzees, like a baboon, baboons. Baboons are mid-sized monkeys. Those Spider little, monkeys. Chimpanzees are bigger than baboons now. Baboons are considered okay. I don't want to see that red bulbous ass around yeah. my apartment. <laughs> it's and going up against that, the howler monkeys, the lemur, dick, the dick nose monkeys, uh, lemur. Does that count? That's uh, something. Zaboombafu. Like Zaboombafu. Is that a monkey? I don't know. I don't know. But what's uh, the big nose one? The proboscis. <laughs> If it's a proboscis monkey. Not begin to check you on that, but I'll, I'll agree with it. Uh, but the small monkey includes all those chimps, baboons, pygmy monkeys, mm-hmm. nose ones, howlers, whatever. Um, I, I thought of blue whale, and some people had said this too, because like you can think about using it as like a mode of transportation, if you could. You could go inside it like Geppetto or <laughs> whatever that guy from the Bible, Jonah. Okay. <laughs> Things of that nature. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Stephen Che first. I'd rather have Dragon back on the list. <laughs> <laughs> we could sub, we could definitely sub this. We could su- you could throw Otter back in the mix. You could throw That's a better debate. I mean, I think monkey monkey I thought would have been higher. That's it should have been a one. It's a one yeah. small monkeys. Small monkeys. So that's the, the one. No, that's yeah, the, the number one. That would be the best. I grew up dreaming of a spider like, monkey for lo- yeah. Okay. Chimpanzee Ooh. and orangutan are included in small monkeys. No, orangutans are big. Uh, orangutans big monkey. Huge. Orangutans so. aren't big chimpanzees monkey. pretty big? Or? Yeah, they're, they're like, like they're like this. They could this. probably be like six feet tall. Yeah, but that's not as big as like a silverback or like. Oh, a, well, this is just basically non gorillas. Non gorillas are orangutans. Well, we're doing monkeys, not apes. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm. Boys. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, Monk, I mean. Yeah, okay, so we could sub it out. I'm okay. You guys want to sub it, um, the whales? I didn't, that was dumb. Uh, do you want to sub out the whales with, let's say, sea otters for now? I think either way. I mean, they're going sweep. into a grind. Wait, it's going to yeah, be a clean uh-huh. sweep, blowout. Yeah. Mm. Jay, would you say small monkeys you- over? You're not a- so wait, it's small monkeys or sea otters? Yeah, let's say that. Mm. How small? <laughs> We're talking choice. chimps, baboons, pygmy monkeys, dick nose ones, howlers. Like that little monkey that was getting his hair cut. Yes, like the little monkey with the haircut for sure. Or the one what that, is it? or George, dick the one that monkeys. passed away. Oh, rest in peace, George. Rest in peace, George. Never seen the dick nose monkeys? No. A proboscis. It's have like giant they, have a, they look like dicks. They have, a, have you ever seen a monkey and you're and you comprehended this, that it was yeah. small? What yeah. is it? What do you debate? <laughs> Um, all right, I'll go with, despite all the awful things that Rudy said about their culture, um, otters, they're super playful. They like already, whenever you go to like the window, they come over and they like do tricks and stuff like that. So I think otters are adorable and, um, I'm sure that there are some bad otters in their community, Mm -hmm. but, uh, I bet there's a lot of good ones too. That somehow sounded racist. Yeah. There's some bad otters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's one of the good otters. A couple bad otters. <laughs> so one vote for the rapists. Uh, Za. A-O-A-B. I get that statement a lot. You know, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> but you're good. You're good. Um, uh, the otters or small monkeys? I mean, f- fuck monkeys. Monkeys monkeys are just hell. There was one time we went we went camping, expedition. We're out in the mountains. You go you go out in the mountains for, it was for a week. So the first night, so for the first night and maybe if you can stretch it to the to the first morning, you carry fresh foods with you so that you can have a nice dinner up there. Mm-hmm. And then from then on, you, you know, you're eating out of cans. We set up camp. We went out, we went out to go like get firewood and do like camping stuff, left our shit there raided our stuff raided all our fresh food raided all uh, like our fruits and stuff left us with just cans so ever since that day i think i was that was far and wide far and wide was when i was 11 so ever since then i've just been an enemy for monkeys so an enemy. Me, i don't even i don't even know what the other i don't even know what the fuck the sea otters are what they do give me that but if this was a well-trained monkey, it wouldn't. It's true. This is like a team. Oh, it's a training it's a team. Yeah, this monkey. And you would be able to go they viral should, so much. Yeah. If you had like a little pet monkey that you could do like anything with, like you could get him to play accordion. Oh my god! Not that make cute. organ grinder. Creator fund. You're yeah. not that cute. They, they, they. Well, certain. It's it's like all these different bucks. types of small monkeys too, where it's gonna be like again, chimps, baboons. Have you seen the asses? Have you seen the asses up on close? baboons? They're yeah, disgusting. Have you seen them up close? Yeah, real red. They scare the fuck out of me too. They're so Dude. aggressive. They always have a look like they're about to Gangs swing on you. Too? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Then the chimpanzee ripping faces off. They're, yeah. they're bro, like like four of those, three, or four of them can take down a, a grown ass male lion. Again, it's like on, tamed. Right. We're we're talking a very yeah. tamed yeah. Right. small monkey. They're too, they're too much. Oh, I'm a laid back guy. Give me, give me the otters. Baboons just jump. Two around. for otters. KB the monkey, monkey. Mm-hmm. What type of small monkey would you want? Um, the cute ones, yeah, the pygmy one, yeah. like the one so that, that you can it would be a lot of work. Realistically, if I had to choose, it'd be it would be the one that would be the less the least amount of work. Would you go as the man in the yellow hat for Halloween? Oh, what was he? George. Curious George. Oh, Curious George's that, owner. He didn't have that. a name. He's the man in the yellow hat. Andy. I don't think he was named. I would go. Name. I would go with the monkey. That would be the. I, that would be the best pet. Small monkeys. <laughs> Easy, <laughs> guy. Easy monkey. I think I go with the chimpanzee though. I want a little bit of a bigger. Wait, that's one. On oh a, God, no, dude. Why? They're, they're angry. angry. They rip oh. faces off. It's, it's a trained they're, monkey. They're, they're trained. You get pissed off. Even dogs. Oh, it's, I'll let you. We can't. It's hypothetical is only. They're tamed. only trained. I mean, right. you just want. But I'm to saying like a, lion. a Shih Tzu will snip at people, and those are trained. Okay, but okay. In this case, we're saying trained. Well, like, it does not I don't do want anything. Oh, so you want to change it. their brains completely? You want to? Yeah. yeah. So this is like an animal where it's tamed to the point where it's we like, might as well do dragon because none of these things are real. <laughs> All right, fine. Then let's do that. Should, should we do that instead? Just no. Like, <laughs> I, I, st- I want the in my head the thing is tamed, so I want. I'm thinking it's doing anything, nothing you don't want it to do in my brain. That okay, is so it. ripping my face off is something I would not want it to do. Yes. Okay. I'll take the monkey, Rudy. Uh, I'm really torn here because. You for the small monkeys. There's these monkeys in Japan that sit in like a like a natural springs, and they're so cool, and they're so zen, and they're so rad. I would love to have one of those and just build him a little a little uh, bathtub that he can just chill in with candles around him, almost like a, a sculpture. Like a it's be it would just be yeah, very cool. Uh, but the thing is that with the otters, I feel as though I need to contain them and and shield them from society because i know what they are each other 
I guess. And they are, yeah, exactly. So it's, that, that is a problem, though. If I do jail them from domestication to keep them from the world, they then may rape and necrophiliac each other. Mm-hmm. Or you. Or me. Or you. If Rudy was just getting raped by his pet sea otter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've told you guys, this is what they do. They've done massive amounts of PR to get everyone to love them when they're, they're monsters. They're uh, disgusting. <laughs> that workman's comp request would be very funny for Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that, you know, I only would be able to, I only get one, right? Um, yeah, let's say. So I don't think that that's really saving that much. Uh, in that case, I'm going to go with the Japanese cool ass fucking bath monkey. Okay. Oh yeah. Those are cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going sea otter. Mm. Uh, I think it would be cool to have a pool and swim with it in the back. They're cute. Chicks love them. Uh, monkeys are way too close to like human to have too smart for a pet. I think orangutans in like Argentina, they have human rights. They have the wow. same rights as humans in like Argentina, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're too smart. So uh, you guys said it was gonna be a clean sweep. It's three or three right now. Owen's I know. I was swayed. Um, I, I don't want anything that smart as a pet. Um, I agree with Nick, and that's why I wouldn't do like a chimpanzee, but I would do one of the little spider monkeys on my finger. Those are cool. Yeah, those, yeah. Are, really those cool. are cute. I always wanted one. The so small monkey's gonna move on. Keep them in your front pocket. Mm. Um, next up, we have the one seed versus the sixteen seed. The one seed is big old apes. We're talking silverback yeah. gorillas, eastern lowland gorillas, orangutans, all the all those big boys. You know, you know, guys know what I'm I know what you're talking about. You yep. know what I'm talking about. And that's going up against our chain game. Our chain game, Tommy, you you lead it off with the fainting goat. Oh, have you guys ever oh. heard of the? Oh yeah, goats? my boy Bobby Guy has a farm in his backyard with fainting goats. Unbelievable! So one, well, just very funny when you first hear about fainting goats mm-hmm. and watching those YouTube videos. I remember that being a, a middle school thing. Yeah, I think it'd be funny to just have a goat faint every once in a while. Yeah. So when you like scare them, is it loud noises? They're just. I, they just I know. I think. It, 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 no, I think. I think it is. Timers th- in their body. I think no, it's, it is. Like, it's like all fours up. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, it no, is when you like frighten them. Yeah. And they oh, like, dude, I would. I would. That's use that. Yeah, 100%. definitely, definitely. I, whenever I needed a laugh, I would just make my goat faint. I think that'd mm-hmm. be very funny. Um, I mean, this is the clean sweep. There. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this yeah. is the clean oh. sweep right here. <laughs> Painting goat. After that, we have a meerkat, which I think you also added too. Yeah, meerkat manor. Meerkats are cool. Yeah, they're very cool. Uh, a bison, which is from you, Rudy. Hell no, Rudy. <laughs> no bison? Fuck that. No. Why? What would be the benefit? Dude, they're just regal creatures. Mm-hmm. And talk about an animal you actually could ride. Oh, yeah, you could. Although they have a very like angular back, right? Am yeah, I, they you do. You could ride a bison, dude. They're the size of like an F one fifty. They are massive. I don't think you. I don't think you just get the back. Uh, it's like straight up their spine. That's what I'm thinking. It's like in, their, in my brain, their spine is like too angular to ride. But I, I feel like isn't it? A steep, no, I think you could. a steep drop too. Yeah, it's yeah. A steep yeah. drop. You could you could put like There's a way you could ride. I could too. see your legs like under the horns and yeah. like you're like. Or you could just ride them like a kind of like a motorcycle. You yeah. Know? Yeah, it's true. All so, right. So oh, bison yeah, is on you there. Can. Yeah, you can ride a bison. Rudy also added the velociraptor, which isn't it, it's an extinct, but it is an animal, technically speaking. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I, in my brain, it's not going to be the anatomically correct velociraptor with the feathers and shit. Yeah, Fuck just that. a bird. No, no. Have a, Jurassic Park. Jurassic style. Park velociraptor. If you have a sexually ambiguous child in your house, you could have a bison also. <laughs> yeah, you could. Because <laughs> yeah. of that could. bitch wife of mine. Yeah. Um, whale of a wife. <laughs> Speaking of whale, narwhal, you also had. Mm-hmm. Narwhal, it's cool. They have the horns. Yeah, they yeah. have the super long. It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn fish. Yeah. Great scene from Elf. Yeah. Uh, and that's it for the Che in game. Unless Che, I know you were busy. Did you have anyone add? Yeah, um, I don't know if it's on the list later. A certain uh, cigarette brand. You're talking about Camel? Yeah. Yeah, we can add a Camel in there. <laughs> Why'd you have to dance yeah, around saying Camel? <laughs> yeah. 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 Is that like a <laughs> bad <laughs> word in your house? <laughs> no, we're thinking Camel. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to give away a potential future. That was, that's what it gave it, it away. It gave it away. Yeah, yeah, camel, is not, <laughs> <laughs> camel is not on the list, so we can add yeah. it to the chain. Yeah, I mean, imagine walking down or like coming to work in one of those things. That'd be awesome. No, it'd be a very day commercial all over again, and it would suck. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I think well, Matchbox Twenty has a music video where he's walking a camel in a bowling alley. <laughs> that would be cool. Imagine you put like sunglasses on it though; it would be kind of sick. Yeah, eh, like old way. You see on. Rick Ross get on one the other day, and it just collapsed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I thought he got skinny now. 
Yeah, um, his, ver- his version. Yeah, yeah, his version. Yeah, not Camel Skinny. Yeah, <laughs> Camel fell right over, crumbled. Yeah. <laughs> then Soldier Boy have a very funny video from like Saudi Arabia, where it was him and a bunch of camels. All of the rat. They love going there. <laughs> it's just him. He's yeah. like, I'm out here in Saudi with all the camels. Oh, that was like, yeah, that was an old. That was a vine. Very old. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, so Stephen Shea, we'll start with you first. Among the Cheyenne candidates, Fainting Goat, Meerkat, Bison, Velociraptor, Narwhal, and Camel. Which one are you picking? Definitely Camel. Um, <laughs> yeah, cool. So the the be- I, I think it's almost inarguable the best animal to ride. I've actually ridden a camel before. Pretty cool. You're up really high. It is, you know, they do have the hump so you can kind of secure yourself. Camel. Mm-hmm. One for the camel. Za? I'm going to go so to domesticate. I'm going to go... What was the list again? Fainting goat. Fainting goat. I'm assuming you were you were very that, on the yeah fainting. that. But I was thinking now. No, I was thinking domesticating. I was also thinking you of can the, add another one in if you want. I was also thinking the bison from that list. I was thinking the bison because I mean the, the the optimal animal hug is that whole you go by the head and you, know, yeah. you the little thing and with the bison your head is all up in that in that, <laughs> that is optimal that nice yeah. fur and that <laughs> nice fur, fur yeah. and it feels good, man. So I was thinking either that. The, I mean the fainting goat will be a phenomenal bit just to get it uh, just mm-hmm. to get a thing. But if I if I could add one if i could add one uh i'll throw in the elephant pretty fucking useful animal man if you domesticate that thing pretty useful the shit you can use the shit to 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 polish your wooden floors your nice mm. wooden floors you what to, really use their shit yep elephant dung. elephant dung elephant dung is used for for floor polishes you can poop shine uh, you can oh. yep you can you what's, what's up poop shine that's a poop shine much yeah, yeah. poop shine <laughs> poop shine then you can you can light it you can light the poop on fire you can use that as a source of fire and all that then the nose, you can use that. The trunk, you can use as a shower. You get it to suck some water out and then just sprays it on you. Use it as a shower. <laughs> wow. So fuck that. I'm taking the elephant. Very useful. One for the elephant. Yeah, I, don't, I think, Me? I don't know if that's worth just elephant shit everywhere, being able to use it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think the feign and go, regardless of a bit, would be just a good, good pet to have. You just yeah. easy, just to watch it. Easy to scare. A bison is too. It's, it's an ugly. It's an ugly beast. They're they're an ugly. They're they're one of the last beasts. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and they're beasts. some of them are very big. Yeah, but I just saw a picture of Danny Trejo riding I one. Just saw it too. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> um, where are you going? Fainting goat. Yeah, fainting goat. All right. Big yeah, I'm sticking with the fainting goat. Just just for the bit. I just think it'd be funny. We've Inviting been. a girl back, being like, "Hey, you want to see my fainting goat?" I mean, easy sex. Or don't even say anything. Easy, Be like, watch easy, this. easy fucking. You open easy. the door and just go, ah. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. Faints and falls. Over. If it walks in on Tommy fucking. Rudy. This is a, a lot of for my animals. So this is tough for me. And I always take too long on these. But um, the Velociraptor just from like a, if, if you're, if you're a violent person, it would be pretty sweet to have because it's just so scary. And uh, and a tamed one too. But being from Colorado, man, I just have to go with the bison. The bison, I think, is the most beautiful regal animal that's ever existed. Yeah. They're strong. They're I don't strong. know. Beautiful. They're majestic. They're majestic yeah. when they're in the snow and their breath is. Oh, oh that's cool. That is. A, oh, damn! I didn't think about that. That is yeah. cool. And just riding yeah. a bison around would just be so cool. I just think that it has to be bison for me. You're stuck on the riding the bison thing. Everything else I, about the bison is very cool. Riding a bison, sick. So I sick. can't even. You guys saw yeah, a Treho did it. it. Treho did it. Mm-hmm. You immediately just feel like you're commuting in Middle Earth. <laughs> Let's see, riding a bison. It's Danny Trejo who did it. Yeah. Shit, man. I mean, I guess you can. That one is a very flat back, or maybe that's just like a mutation in certain bison. I don't know. Uh, all right. I would, I would soup it up too. I'd put like neon lights under it, like it was in Fast and the Furious. It'd be fucking sick. <laughs> Nick. KB, Donnie, and I did goat yoga in Alaska. Oh, my God. They were the most adorable creatures. The they were f- so fucking cute. Mm-hmm. And uh, that they became my favorite animal. They are... And you goat cheese you could use. It's it's a useful... I, I mean, it's not as good as elephant shit. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, goat's milk, goat cheese, popular, it's in. Crumble it on salad. Uh, but, no, they, they're, they're so fucking cute. That was the best. <laughs> they're crawling on us, getting yeah. on our backs. Really? Yeah, goat yeah. yoga is you're doing yoga and they just come and jump on your backs and they play on you. They bite? Uh, they, they nibble on you? They like ate my shoelace. Oh. I was cool really with it. Adorable. That's cute. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. Owen? Uh, elephant. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to just sit on it if it was fully domesticated for my pleasure. For sure. So fainting goat's going to win by one vote margin. You go up against the big monkeys. Those lowland gorillas. I don't see the appeal. Those silverbacks. They're orangutans. 
Owen, you go first versus the fainting goats. Uh, fainting goats. Fainting goats. For sure. First vote. I don't right. think there's anything scarier than like a silverback gorilla. You own it yeah. and you tamed it. Still, I could not be comfortable uh, yeah, around I wouldn't, it. No, not yeah, cuddly. Never, never, ever. They always look mad, pounding their chest. I think that's the coolest thing. I would see, I would, I would, I would give up alpha ship of the home immediately. You wouldn't laugh at like, the second they go like, yeah. like I just immediately laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they like, awesome. really primal about it. Yeah. Like, just I fucking love that. Tarzan too. <laughs> yeah. Like, you could be Tarzan. You could be, yeah, literal Tarzan. But like, if I but see somebody that, walking in the street, fight. yeah, they love to fight. Yeah, but I'm assuming if they're tamed, yeah, they, 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 they could be fight. your bodyguard. One exactly. of these is a cute little goat you're walking down the street with. That gets that gets eyes. You don't think if a I, gorilla gets it eyes? gets eyes, but you're not going to be approached. Like a 600 pound gorilla. I think people are going to approach out of sheer curiosity. No way. I, I, don't, I don't know. I think so. I would not approach a, a man with a 600. Neither would I. But I think people would. Or a woman. Especially here, um, I just can't imagine. Like, you go to the common ground, you, you would never approach a woman. <laughs> never approach a woman with gorilla. <laughs> gorilla. It's better than pepper spray. <laughs> uh, all right, so that you're gonna vote for the fainting goat next. Oh yeah. Mm. All right, Rudy. Uh, I do love goats, but I just keep having this visualization of me being in the club with a silverback gorilla. <laughs> And I just think that is yeah, so yeah. Cool. like listening to Rick Ross. Both stanced up. Yeah, yeah. like he's uh. got like an Ace of Spades bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you yeah, know. goats are out. I'm in. And then, yep. he, yeah. and then he just goes nuts when Chief Keef comes on. <laughs> you, you Under the assumption that you can bring the go, uh, the gorilla to the club. Who's gonna, What the fuck is the bouncer going to do? When he's, <laughs> what's the bouncer going to do? <laughs> yeah, this is a no-brainer then. Yeah. I imagine he's wearing like a cool outfit too, yeah, right? me and him are both wearing our, our chains. He looks cooler than me. Like, oh, yeah. I just think that that visual of just going out to the club with a silverback gorilla would just be so epic. So, yeah. And I don't want people to approach me. I want to instill fear, which is why yeah. I usually tend towards the more metal choice, which is why I went bison and gorilla. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go gorilla. The gorillas get a vote and two votes technically because they swayed Nick as well. I'm going gorilla too. I was going gorilla. For, I, I like, like Rudy said, hanging out with gorilla. And one of my favorite things to do when high is watching videos of gorillas acting human. Oh, I think I say gorillas like ape fights because I do watch that every now and then. No, I like gorillas like acting human and mm. it's so fascinating to me. So living with one, yeah, going out with it, just having a fucking good time. Oh, they love it to hey, meet and greets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, playing some Phil Collins, playing the Tarzan soundtrack around the house. Like I'm just me and two two worlds, one family. Oh. Yeah, you, you go to the gym with it, it's it's repping like four twenty. Oh, well, imagine the spotter it would be. Yeah. yeah. That's a great. I didn't think about that, Nick. When you do like the magic trick for certain gorillas, they love just, they card love tricks. Them. Yeah, that is true. They love magic. Uh, all right, Wait, all right. This one though, we're just letting us anthropomorphize it. Like we're just we're making turning it human. into like, a partially human. Yeah, not a pet at all. <laughs> what gorillas are pretty close. Yeah, to yeah. Smart. I bet you could train a gorilla to be a spotter. Yeah, definitely. Be yeah, but you, I don't think we'd be able to train. Uh, yeah, I guess this is uh, like sign language. completely hypothetical. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> KB. Yeah. Uh, ape at the dive bar club passenger yeah. seat ape playing pool at the dive bar oh, yeah. imagine you walk in the bar and the, yeah. he's on the billiards table and he doesn't yeah. even have to be good at it no no he, he could be bad <laughs> he's gonna say anything like, you won anyway you scratched ape <laughs> Zah, the big apes um so that's as nick go. mentioned i think it was nick that mentioned a little earlier two two human like i mean People, I mean, look at my DMs. I, I get mistaken for one here. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, and I mean, I, 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 I hate myself. I take a lot. Ask anyone that's met me at the Jersey Shore. I take a lot of domesticating. So give me the, <laughs> <laughs> give me the goat. Give one the for goat. another one for the goat. <laughs> oh, Stephen Che. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I can't really get on board with like a big ape just because there are so many dangers with it. And also, yeah, another thing with, you know, the poops, the poops compared one to the other is going to be gigantic. Um, it would be kind of a cool walking around type thing. Um, but just, you know, being the father of two, having seen the Harambe video, I can't really get behind that. So I'm going to go fainting. But how safe would you feel going out with your kids knowing you had a silverback ape bodyguard? Pretty much already got one, you know. 
Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, he's right. God damn it. Uh, that's on you, Ken Jack. God, God, yeah. I walked I walked right into that one. Get the smirk. Stephen Che, you got taken down by a poop particle. Best of all. <laughs> 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 like, Stephen Che's flexing your feet off your pants and uh, fart on him. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so the big monkeys are going to move on. Big apes are going to move on. Um, before we get into the second half of our bracket, let's hear from our second sponsor of the day, Game Time. Fellas, let's talk about Game Time. Game Time is the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, created by fans for fans. It's the new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute ticket deals on uh, sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest prices. If you haven't given Game Time a shot yet, what are you waiting for? We've had tons of Barstool fans using it, hitting us up on social media about the great deals they're getting. We've been using Game Time all year. I used it to go to a Yankee game, and I'm also using it to later on, I think in a couple weeks, actually, come from when this airs, going to a Panic at the Disco concert. Uh, so easy to use. Amazing deals. You're going to love it. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login and redeem code LCB for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Download Game Time. Last minute tickets. Lowest prices. Guaranteed. Thanks to game time. All right, second half, first matchup, six seed versus the 11 seed. 11 seed, a couple people had this. I do, I think it's a bad. Sleeping Goats move on? No, Fainting Goats had two votes. Oh, damn. I switched over. Yeah, oh, okay. switched. Um, so six seed is the bear. The bear. There's nothing like seeing those videos where the guy like hugs the bear. You know what I mean? Like when they have like those bear trainers that are just like almost treating like a big ass dog. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. I want that more than anything. And that's going up against 11 seed. Um, this one I didn't totally get, but a lot of people responded with it. Uh, the eagle. Like almost, they were, I think they're thinking oh, yeah. like, you didn't it. get eagle? I, don't, I wouldn't want a I, pet eagle. I, I don't know. I don't like birds. Cool. I don't like I, I see birds. The I love Maker birds. Yeah. Mm. He's got a pet eagle. Eagly. Yeah. I mean, that is the only, the one example of a eagle where I was like, I might want that one. I also, I think of it in the sense of, uh, it's practice. It could like go get you shit, right? Yeah, it's a really well trained eagle. That's what I was thinking. True. You can yeah. do um, Uber Eats. You could never have to do delivery. You right. Like, go, go pick s- up my order in the West Village. Or yeah. Something. Go get Shake Shack. It's mm. there in a millisecond. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. It would have to be like a certain weight. I don't know how much can eagles carry a lot, brother. And Christ. They, they've, they've. I've seen them pick up goats. Oh, they've they've yeah, they're they're, yeah, they're, they're pulling out like big fish out of water. They they're going after like actual big ass animals. Eagles. True. All right. So Che, you get to go first. The eagle or the bear. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the eagle just because it would be so cool to rule the air. And I think the eagle would give you that advantage if you needed something found, if you needed something picked up from far away. The bear is not going to like drive. So send the eagle. Oh, hey, go get me an eye patch from CVS. <laughs> oh, there, dang. Eagle, mm-hmm. take care of it. Um, so I'm going to go with the eagle plus the poops. Done in the air. Don't have to worry about them. That's true. That's this is the first animal that's not a problem. Mm. Kind of. Uh, Za. Yeah, I got. I got to go with Che too. I mean, the whole it being able to deliver stuff and the bear. The bear. We've already. We already have an idea. What are we saying here about bears. deliver stuff and pick up from CVS? <laughs> <laughs> so that's just on the table now. For that's the on the table for so, yeah, I guess you're right. Communicating wow. with these animals. <laughs> 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 using their functionality, right? Yeah, to, we're to slowly moving away. We've moved into now. These people will just replace you at work in yeah. your personal <laughs> lives. Yeah, yeah. family, friends. They will be your second life. So, so the bear. The bear. We have an indication. The teddy bears and all that. In my brain, I'd be more curious as domesticating an eagle to see what what they mm-hmm. can do as a pet. So All right, two for the eagle, angle. KB. Yeah, I think bears are kind of visually boring. They're too amorphic and blobby. Mm-hmm. The, Wouldn't want to hug a, a bear. Berg, a bird would be. I, I love birds. Okay, so an eagle. Why do you love birds? I love birds too. I just bird do. People. I don't know. I just fucking hate birds. They fly. fly. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, I would love to be able to fly. I doesn't mean I need to love birds. They land on you. I like that. Yeah. You want to be a falconer? What? Bears probably could get you almost unlimited fresh salmon, though. I'm not trying to survive with these pets. Like, yeah, you're just trying to kick it. Just chill. <laughs> I think that's actually like one of the coolest job titles, Falconer. Oh, yeah. It is, it is extremely cool sounding. And they have that big-ass glove. It just looks cool. Didn't RG3 race an eagle yesterday? He won. And he won. Yeah. Francis McDormand looks like a Falconer. Yeah. In her free time. Her and Joel Cohen, who she's married to, I think, right? Joel or Ethan Cohen, which one was a good? I forget. That's one of them. One of them. We had, um, we had a falconry club in high school. So Jesus, what? Like, yeah, we. So they would rotate you through activities, and for like half the half the semester, you'd try you'd try different things. 
those fucking things had claws the size of my finger. I was like, nope. I'm not oh doing yeah. Fully out on it. Awesome. All right. So that's another one. You're going KB with the old with the eagle. Yes. Another one for the eagle. Yeah, I'm going eagle too. I mean, the bear, bears they're just very similar. I feel like to a lot of the ones we mentioned. Uh, e- eagle has a new practical value that we brought into the equation. That yeah, it's an uber. I'm, 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 I'm ruining. I, I, so I'm, I'm not familiar with the rules. I'm ruining the show. I came in unprepared. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! You're not doing anything oh. wrong, Zai. Oh. Sorry about that. Um, so another one for the eagle, Rudy. Uh, it's a no question. It's going to be the eagle. I mean, bears. You know, there's just so much footage of of them out there. Everyone is obsessed with bears, but I've seen enough of them. They're kind of just, I agree with KB. They're sort of just like boring. They just mill around. I don't think that they would bring much excitement to your life. And just from a visual standpoint, like getting fits off, like having a fucking yeah. eagle on your shoulder, mm-hmm. I will tie together any fit. Like it's just so cool. The way that they turn their head 180 degrees. Everything about it's rad. What if you could like ride a bear to the club, yeah, right? Uh, I agree. There's a good. There's something to be said for that. But then also just having a like a, a full on eagle with you, I think, is almost even cooler. Just perched above you, like a modern day pirate. Most of the people that responded with the eagle, they said something about it being like a warg. So like you could see yeah. through the eyes yeah. of the eagle, like it's Assassin's Creed or something. Which yeah. like that would be awesome. But now yeah. again, we're we're. Getting to We're the, into the, the fanta- or the fantasy version. Yeah, no, yeah. I think it's eagle. I think it's eagle. Clear. Another one for eagle, Nick. I'm a big bird guy, but I think eagle would be the last bird I want. Like Za said, that the talons, it's not, it's accidentally going to get you. Mm. They're sharp. I would rather have uh, an owl, a duck, a peregrine falcon, loon, common loon, mm. um, arctic, ter- arctic, t- <laughs> an arctic tern. Mm. Um, easy to say. Uh, imagine rolling up to the club on a polar bear. Yeah. You're talking about getting fits off? Yeah. A polar bear? Compliments almost any outfit. 10 feet long? Yeah. 990 pounds, give or take? Okay, say bear then, pussy. Yes. Bear. <laughs> bear. <laughs> Owen? Eagle. Uh, I would keep it on my roof and just uh, bring me my keys. I would leave a bunch of copies of my keys on the roof. Kill your mice, bring, too. Bring me keys, yes. You have mice? Oh. You have mice problem? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah. Could have killed new cockroaches too. Polar bear could yeah. do it too. I'm sure. It could. There might not be enough room to fly in your apartment. The more I'm thinking about it, unless you're a cockroach. Um, next up, we have the three seed versus the fourteen seed. The three seed. Uh, enough people responded with some sort of dinosaur that I thought just T Rex. If you're gonna pick one to be the pet dinosaur, it would probably be the T Rex, right? Unless you guys want to swap with a different one. I thought that'd be the universal pick, right? Mm-hmm. We good with that? We good yeah. with T Rex? I'm good with T Rex. Mm-hmm. Okay, so T Rex is going up against the fourteen seed Rhino. Oh, oh. oh. The same things. Okay. The rhino, which is essentially the modern day, one of the modern day dinosaurs, them and alligators, in my opinion. Um, so you get to go first, Owen, the T-Rex, the rhino. The rhino is giving me the same vibes the lion did, where like if if it was your pet, that sort of just puts you at the top. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I also just can't comprehend that being anywhere in my life. <laughs> but a T-Rex is... Fits yeah. comfortably. T Rex, I could see, so I'll go with that. I could see that. You want to talk about rolling up to the club? You roll up to the club in a T Rex. <laughs> it need to be a big club. You have yep. to go to like Bergheim or Berlin or something. <laughs> and my dick would look big in T Rex hands. Yeah, yeah it would. <laughs> yeah, it would. So that'd be nice. Nick, T Rex isn't in my top five of dinosaur. Which one would you, if you had to pick one? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus, but then you can't ride that. Yeah, you could. You could go in between the plates. Oh man, that's risky, isn't it? Oh, you just get right in between the plates. That's sick. You're holding on to them. Yeah, but you rear end someone, your dick and balls are getting smashed. Sliced in half. What? You, uh, if you like, you just stop short. Like yeah. you're just nuts get crushed on his little stegosaurus. I'm, I'm thing. standing up in between his plates on his oh, back. Oh, you're standing. You're yeah. surfing a stegosaurus. I'm just holding on to the plates, dude. That would be sick. You sur- you're literally surfing a dinosaur. All right, so, but T Rex is the option here, I guess. Sure, right. Um, rhinos are awesome. And I think I can fathom that a little bit more having that i think i would like dress up his horn for like christmas and stuff put lights around it be, be go crazy on instagram Throw beads on it and Mardi yeah, Gras. yeah um yeah he'd be cool to have around the house i think it'd be useful it's funny when he just falls through your floor <laughs> or below you. we're comparing this to a t-rex <laughs> that's very true uh, i'm going rhino one for the rhino uh i'm gonna the the thing t-rexes are obviously very cool but the problem is that i feel like if i had a t-rex me and him just wouldn't vibe i i, I don't vibe well with reptiles but i don't think we have anything in mm. common 
I don't think I would just sit there and look at him like that's my T-Rex and then you know we would it would just be awkward Mm. because we don't have anything in common and then the rhino I think you just have a little bit more usefulness you can ride it it's pretty to look at you feel like you're saving an endangered animal um cut off its horn if you want the T-Rex had its (laughs) T-Rex had its time and it uh, It flubbed it it flopped yeah so I think I'm gonna go rhino just because I just like them better, and the co- the name rhinoceros is like the coolest. Yeah, name. It is a really cool name. T Rex fell off. That's actually yeah. very good. Uh, Tommy, uh, I think it's easy. T Rex. Uh, T Rex don't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you guys can have your rhinos. I'm gonna be the guy with the. I'll T-Rex. be the guy with the with the, the animal that no. Oh, longer another exists. guy with a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be the yeah. one human being with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right, yeah. That, yeah I'm imagine? gonna be the T Rex guy too. Yeah, that's easy for me. But I would hate it if you also had one. <laughs> yeah. Tommy, you ruined you it ruined for Kyle. Ruined. Would, yeah, okay. If so in this it, game, I guess Tommy has a T Rex, cool. so no. <laughs> no. But then I couldn't let him be the only one with a T Rex. Right, oh fuck! So oh I would no! Need, I would if I'm at price play strategy. If <laughs> Che picked one, I'd be very fine with them two having one. Yeah, I already picked T Rex. Oh, Owen has a T-Rex. Yeah. Owen has a T-Rex. Let off with T-Rex. I'm sorry. I couldn't. Yeah. Mm-mm. So you're taking what? I, okay. No, I would take T-Rex because me and Owen would be the cool T-Rex guy. <laughs> no, I'd be yeah. laughing at his T-Rex. Tommy would be the lame T-Rex. Because <laughs> yeah, you, you guys would mix it up. And ours would hang out together, be yeah. friends. And, yeah. and yours would be the team. outcast. Tommy wouldn't, yeah. would, Tommy wouldn't go within 100 yards of his T-Rex. Yeah, if it's yeah. fully trained, I'll, I'll fucking. We'll, I'll I think yours would be like clumsy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot. It would be a clumsy. Yeah. It would that's have, pretty funny. It would, have, <laughs> yeah. 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 it would have like gout and like yeah. allergies. It'd be the least intimidating. T- like nobody yeah. would even be scared when it walked down the street. It has like uh, allergies. T yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rex that always gets a sinus infection. <laughs> <laughs> Just gets bullied by hedgehogs. Yeah, yeah. Lost around. Uh, but we'd vibe. So two T Rex votes. Uh, Zah. I'm I'm going Rhino. I've been obsessed with them since growing up. The only thing that sucked is they they're aggressive. So since we're domesticating them, give me Rhinos. And then as my man Rudy alluded to earlier, you can get some fits off. Get some get some ivory, Rhinos are ivory ugly. chains. I mean, they don't need very they, they don't ugly. Domestically, leather T-Rex is hot. They're lumpy. They look like T Rexes are hideous to look at. T Rexes are sexy. Rhinos look gangster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it would. They look gangster. Rhinos look Wait, tough. I didn't, I didn't know Rhinos were that aggressive. And oh, very, good. very. So they're they're blind. They're they're they eye not blind. Their eyesight is very poor. So if they that get spooked because of that, they get very spooked. They get spooked very easily, and they just run a straight. Line. Have you ever had a scare from one? Uh not a rhino. Okay, mm. not a rhino. But it, that's interesting. And they're also they're herbivores, though, right? Like they don't eat any meat. Grass. So that would be uh, easier leaves. to maintain from a technical yep. standpoint, probably. Oops, don't smell as bad. Oh. It's, it's it's. There's a scene where Ace Ventura though he poops himself out of a rhino. All it's time like, scene, awesome. Nice. I also like how they like their everything on their body is gigantic, and then they have these like little tiny tails. They do. Yeah, the tail a little bit wrapped they, around. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you see that video of the hippo diarrhea dumping? Yeah, oh. it's very funny. Wait, see it, Chad? Was that a angry spray? video game nerd oh. reference? No, oh, no, 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 no. There's a hippo like it's at a zoo or something, and like it, it like starts diarrhea dumping, but it flips its tail back and forth. Yeah, so basically just like it scatter shots its diarrhea <laughs> out into the crowd. It's it's kind of funny to watch. Um, <laughs> that's how that, I mean, that's how they shit normally. Yeah, that's just a thing. Like every time they take a shit, that's what they do. Yeah, but thankfully no hippos on here. I knew because we, me, you've talked about hippos so many times. They're just terrible. Yeah, right? I hate them. No, number one man killer at home. Yeah, I guess scary, scariest creatures. Um, uh, Stephen Shea. You gotta go T Rex. You can be literally Doctor John Hammond, but in real life from Jurassic Park, you can recreate the one of the most dangerous predators of all time, and you can train it. It can be your buddy. I would sell that thing out immediately. Like I would tranquilize it and sell it to science. Be a millionaire. Be a hero. Um, oh God! T Rex by a mile. Yeah, you're well, right. You're, the more that they make the yeah. T Rexes, yeah, the core oh, four. Fun. We all got yeah. T Rexes. Yeah. Come on, the big four. Wait, doesn't go that Rhino. Stephen guy Rhino have a T Rex too? Yeah, that wasn't the point. It was to be a pet, not to sell it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not selling, selling it. Mine. Not selling the pets, man. Yeah, that was, that was a sell up move, Jay. 
Um, you put it on like whatnot. Like literally. <laughs> it's like anyone want to buy my T-Rex bidding starts at like $200. Oh, you could start a cameo with your T-Rex though. Dude, that'd be awesome. Like You would clean up. Yeah. It wouldn't even fit into Fram. You'd just see like one tooth you still want to. <laughs> <laughs> still want to make as much as Frank the Tank. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up is the 10 seat. So what one? T-Rex one. Okay. T-Rex Fuck. one. Only a couple votes for Rhino. Um, T-Rex uh, is the winner. Next up, we have 10 seed versus 7 seed. 10 seed is the Kangaroo. Uh, which we were talking about earlier in that very funny video where the Australian man defends his dog by just socking a kangaroo in the face. Yeah. One of the most Australian things to ever happen in the world. Let me know. We weren't talking about that. I was talking about that, TJ. Sorry. I saw another one the other day where these two kangaroos were fighting and one of them just pushes the other one and it goes it's through a fence. A fence. Yeah. It's awesome. That was a really good one. Um, they're interesting animals. They ever see the inside of like their pouch though? It fre- disgusting. It's disgusting. Like the inside yeah, of the over- pouch. Yeah. It's, oh. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, it's really pouch? gross. Yeah, no. Oh, the inside. Can't you like see their bone? Yeah, it's yeah. like bones. <gasps> and shit. Oh, there's oh no wait, lining? the bone is exposed. I think the gross. bone's exposed. Yeah, dude, pouch. it's really. I'm gonna Google it, but I don't know if I want to. It's like, a, it's, like Google it's like it. transparent and veiny and bony. Because yeah. I was about to say, I would just hop in that pouch and have them drive me around all day. Yeah, if you can get over how gross it is, then that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, Could I line it with a snuggie? <laughs> yeah, you can make, yeah, like, make oh, it. yeah, this is just like a vaginal cavity. Yeah, it looks like yeah. A, it's it's gross. Yeah. It's really nasty. Oh, it's gross. Mm. Like, that's weird because, like, that should have been always thought of as nasty. Like, the idea of just like an open pouch as part of your body. Oh, mm. my God. All right, I'm going. I'm uh, not the kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, but in my head, it was always just like a little gen <laughs> sport sweat, the fuck like, sweatshirt I zipper pocket. I thought it would be like, like, like the hoodie pocket. I thought it was yeah. like in the front. It's it's just there. Yeah. What is, yo, they is that like a nipple? Uh, they have the longest nipples I've ever seen. Them. What is that? I think it's a nipple. Yeah, that's it's a nipple, a nips. right? Oh. Got big I mean, nips. Longest. Wait, and the already born kangaroos hang out with kangaroo fetuses in there. In there. Uh, All right, so the kangaroo is going up against the number seven seed panda. Um, oh. a, a cuddly old panda. The old panda. Um, I think they're adorable. Obviously, the the most of the world I think thinks they're adorable. Which otherwise they would not have been as saved. Are as they, they are right very now. lazy as well? Very. Yeah. They just eat bamboo and chill. Okay. Um, so who ended last time? Che, you ended last time. Uh, so yeah. you get to go first. Panda versus kangaroo. Mm, this is tough. I feel like um, pandas definitely are very snuggly and cute, but kangaroos are probably like the ideal size for a pet. Like they're not. They're really not that big. <laughs> they're they like huge. Size. They're, they're very big. massive. They, they can get to like human size, but they also, some of them are smaller. So um, the jumping is cool. The fact that you could punch one is cool. The fact that they can punch <laughs> off is pretty you, cool. You, I don't think you just can punch one. If it steals your dog or like attacks you, yeah, you get you punch it. Yeah, you're, I don't like think you it's just, just like you want to just... You're right, trying to pick but, a pet and you're like, oh, which can I beat the shit out of? <laughs> or sell. Or sell. Shocking. <laughs> Well, like if you're going, if you want to use it as an intimidator, like you guys were talking about using a silverback gorilla as intimidating, like a kangaroo can throw a legitimate punch at, you know, Rudy. And it's like a somewhat fair fight. Like it's not crazy lopsided. Like Rudy can obviously fight back and probably. What are you talking about? A kangaroo would beat the fuck out of any human, right? <laughs> yes. I don't know. There was a train guy oh. pushed it out of there. Oh, but uh, they one trained. You never saw this video? I'm sure there are some that this they kangaroo trained. Like, it was like attacking this guy's dog in Australia. Oh. He just ran up and punched it in the face, and the kangaroo just stood there like. He just right hooked okay. him. Yeah. yeah. I'm about shook. to look up the stats on a kangaroo, but I'm almost certain. They're Every ju- kangaroo would beat the shit out of everyone. Yeah, I don't think they're as tall as you think. They're, they're like five three. Three. They're so fast, so much force. <laughs> yeah, oh. Oh. <laughs> I see kangaroos all the time. They stand on their, tail. stand on their tails and kick. Dude, Dude, look like, at his traps. He's like, this, he's like a ripped Alex Jones. Those yeah. delts, baby, man. He's huge. <sighs> Um, yeah, I mean, they hop. They're cool. I think I'm going to go kangaroo. Kangaroo is a pretty strong favorite for me to maybe go the rest of the way. Wow. It's, well, it's to speak to the whole going to the club thing, too, if you have like a kangaroo jack thing going on. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's that something place. like David Dobrik would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Definitely is. To the club. I brought a kangaroo to the, to the club. club. Yeah. He does the fucking tongue smile. Yeah. Uh, it's like a, I, like, I like how going to the club is just like totally accepted, but then when I say an eagle can go get me something from CVS, KB's like, whoa, 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 what the heck's <laughs> going on here? It's like bringing your pet somewhere. As th- to- I think there would be clubs. I'd be like, yeah, th- this could come in. Like but an eagle, you would never get an eagle to go to CVS. <laughs> I think you could get an eagle to go to CVS. It'd pick up your medicine order. It'd be hard to... It'd be hard, <laughs> hard to, you mean? It'd be hard for the eagle to pay. You'd have to obviously use cash. Right off the shelf, eye patch. Just right. pick it out. If yeah, you don't just, know, ask somebody. 
He just flies. <laughs> he has like a little note on his thing. Like, yeah, a note on the In New York, you would need a key to get into everything. Yeah. You just yeah, would have to learn how to buzz Eagle it. would have to wait around. Yeah. No, you have your window open. He flies in like straight in. I'm thinking it's like Hedwig or some shit from Harry Potter. You know, like the owls, how they use them. That's in my, how they work in my brain. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so you're going to go with the kangaroo, Za, the kangaroo or the panda? Yeah, so before I'd seen that pouch, I was going to go kangaroo, but after seeing that pouch, I mean, that just looks like a Disgusting. hard thing. Because now, now, now it's your pet. you got to take care of it. You probably have to clean up inside there and not yeah. have elongated nipples. I don't fuck with that <laughs> yeah, It probably feels like stuffing a turkey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be just looking at it. Just looking at it, it looks like, I mean, it's, yeah, no, it's like, all right, do you have to balance the fucking pH in there? All that nonsense. <laughs> oh, yeah, it all comes into play. Give me, give me, give me the panda that's cute, fluffy, mm-hmm. you can hug and mess around. They're so dumb, too. They're some of the dumbest animals. Like, when you see the videos dumber, of them. The better. Yeah, they always fall off their, like, enclosures. Yeah, that's they awesome. Fall. They just climb, like, 50 of them climb up a tree and they all fall down. Like, and, like, the one instinctual thing to fuck, they just can't do it. Yep. <laughs> no idea yeah. how. Yeah. Uh, KB. How do they reproduce? It just happens. They force them yeah. to. They have a very, it. it's, it's very hard to get them to reproduce. Hey, panda is my favorite on the list so far. I think it's the epitome of, a, of what you want in a pet. Yes. They're adorable. I think, like, everyone loves it. Can't, and that's, uh, I want to talk about an animal that'll get you pussy almost immediately. Panda. Yes. Panda. Yeah. Immediately. Uh, Tommy. Yeah, panda. I forget what one you said before, Kendrick. Kendrick. You were like something, or maybe it was about a lion using it as a. But I mean, it's like could, a bean bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use a panda as the ultimate bean bag. You could just watch TV, chill on your on panda, watch yeah. TV. Uh, uh, that's awesome. They're very cute. Kangaroos. I don't know what I would. Uh, they're a. Fa- I'm going panda. I'm going panda. The panda, Rudy. Uh, yeah, I I find the that Australians at length are very annoying. In mm-hmm. general, and obviously the kangaroo can't talk, but it just still has like an Australian vibe, and they just yeah. sort of they sort of grind my gears after a while. And I also hate the way that they are like this weird in between of walking on all fours, but some kind of standing. It just it I find it unsettling the way that they just occupy space, and uh, they're just not very pretty looking. I think that kangaroos have ugly faces, small heads, small, small heads, heads, and I just don't gaunt. I just don't want that in my crew. And the panda is just so aesthetically pleasing i love when they play with bamboo and they twirl it around their arms yeah and i love when they like fall out of things it's just something you can't hate it's like having it's like an animal version of ben mince in my mind it's just like <laughs> yeah. yeah everything that they do i find to be very very funny and pleasing and diffusing like ben mince wearing a raiders jersey or something right exactly <laughs> yeah exactly so i i just you know you you could do, you do fun things with it you can put pants on them mm-hmm. you know like a lot of fun stuff can be done with a panda so i really would love the panda and i like you it. roll up with designer playing as you're riding your panda exactly yeah yes like the club opens up immediately and then like having a kangaroo in the club i think everyone's gonna be like Ugh, like it's like you might a, confuse it for a person at first right it's like just you see it from behind or something but a panda just a, just fits like mm-hmm. you know in any environment it just looks cooler so Nick, panda or kangaroo? Kangaroos, I don't think can walk backwards. Sure, and it, I don't think I don't think they can. So if, like, there's too many picture. dead ends in my apartment. Real. I think their tails are like too like they can't. Well, they balance on them, right? I don't right. know if they I don't know if they can go backwards. So if they they would just get stuck in places in my apartment. Mm-hmm. Um, too big. Uh, pandas, it should be the one seed. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. they have it Fantastic. all. They're fun. They're fluffy. They're fun to watch. They're cute. They don't have to eat meat yeah. uh, to get you pussy. Yeah. Uh, cuddle. Yeah, you can cuddle with them. Yep. Uh, that's, I mean, Panda's going to win, but Owen? Rup. Yep. yep. Panda, panda, panda. What happened to designer? What happened to designer? Very good question. I have no clue. He'd made like even have an album. Was it just that it was just that sing- No, he's a producer. Designer. He, he had like he had an album after that, but it just didn't really do that much. Mm. He also makes beats, doesn't he? Does he? I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Is there two eyes in designer? Yes. Yes. Hundred uh, percent. Went up to Che today and one in Fetty <laughs> Wap. Uh, <laughs> fuck, that's good. Uh, oh, all right, so the Panda wins. Now, lastly, on this side of the bracket, we have the number two seed versus the fifteen seed. Fifteen seeds. One of Tommy's additions. The the very elegant fox. Yeah. But the fox. I think foxes are cool. Awesome. I don't think it's a bad pick at all. They're sly. Very sly. Very. Yeah. They're cute. Do you ever hear the noises they make? They like yeah. make these little yips like dogs, but like it's like cuter than like a. a Chihuahua yip or some shit. It's just like to me, they're cool. they're a mixture of a dog and a cat. Yes, I would agree with that. Uh, red pandas, damn, I should have had that as a separate thing. Oh shit. man, red pandas, they're really cute. Yeah, fuck. I guess they they count under the panda banner. Under panda umbrella. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, so the fox is going up against the number two seed, the tiger, <laughs> the big old tiger. And Owen, you get to go first. Fox versus tiger. 
Uh, Tiger in a Landslide. Uh, Tyson has one in The Hangover. That's a funny movie that everyone loved. Yeah. Um, and I don't think a fox would be that uh, that fun. Out of all the animals we've mentioned today, the fox is probably the most the least animal-like. Like, like, yeah, that's the one that would fit the most in any given one of our apartment scenarios, mm. I think. But it's the tiger is a tiger. Yeah, just posting up with a tiger would be awesome. Which type of tiger would you want the traditional or like the white tiger snow like tiger Sigfried roy yeah yeah, oh, yeah. all white tiger. and then piercing oh, blue eyes like a white yeah. walker yep all right i'm probably the biggest Siegfried and roy stand in the office i might not be saying much but <laughs> uh low bar yeah yeah uh yeah t- tigers are huge right they're bigger than lions pretty damn big they're gigantic that's sick they're like sneaky big yeah um i'd want a saber-toothed tiger Yes, Ooh, I almost put that on the list. Man. Great fuck. Yeah, yeah, they're Dennis, sick. Great like Dennis Leary and Ice Age. Yeah, yeah. much like that. <laughs> um, Fox, I mean, you should just get a dog. Yeah. I, I think if you're going to have an exotic pet, go go all out. All right, Rudy? Yeah, I, I respect foxes, but I don't love them. I have a sort of bad memory with foxes. We, oh, uh, let's hear it. We brought some new um, landscaping in our yard in Denver. And at the time, the foxes, there's always this thing in Denver where like at a certain point, foxes take over and then they leave and then the bunnies take over. And it's always this sort of ebb and flow. And this year we had massive fox infestation mm-hmm. and they took a liking to our new landscaping and they had babies. And if you guys have ever heard, never heard a baby fox, they literally sound like a human baby just like screaming. Yeah. Ooh. We, I haven't been taking into consideration noises and sounds. I should have been. Baby. I have not oh, yeah. And foxes make dreadful, dreadful okay. well, baby foxes, right? Yeah, but even the re- regular foxes, they like cackle and like have like a really is it annoying, like piercing. It's so piercing. Anyway, so my mom is a very nice lady, but she took her landscaping pretty fucking serious. And at one point, <laughs> she these foxes just made it into their home. It was like a condo for them. So my mom was like, "Rudy, tonight, what I need you to do is I need you to get your airsoft gun and I need you to shoot the foxes." No. Wow. And I was like. What? Shoot to kill? Did you like shoot the ground to like like scare him off? Just call the police, Shay. She. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, the airsoft gun's not going to do anything to them. It's not going to hurt them or or kill them. But she was like, no, no, no. I just want to, I want to buzz their tower. She was talking like Don Carleone. She was like, let's, yeah, let's, just let's, warn them. Let's let's send, let's let them know what we're talking about. So I was, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of my mom. So I was like, okay, whatever you say, mom. So I stood on my, I sat. You are a big fan of your mom. Just stand. Everyone says that. Uh, and I. St- sat on my roof with my airsoft gun oh. with a laser pointer and just for an hour and a half just teed off on these foxes and uh didn't do anything yeah okay that's good but uh ever since then i've never been a huge fan of foxes i hate how gaunt they're probably not a big fan of you i hate how gaunt <laughs> yeah they're probably not i hate how gaunt they are you know they are always sort of like this like weird they have like, like a chalamet body type yeah they look like they look like <laughs> timothy chalamet yeah. yeah exactly they look like they go to nyu and they think that they're better than you and they have like Damn. a weird snout i just never <laughs> really liked the fox so i'm definitely gonna go with i don't even remember what the other one got was. a nose job just for ketamine yeah, yeah. <laughs> three for the tiger tommy yeah unlike rudy my parents are big fox people love yeah. tucker uh love tucker. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it yeah. Uh, but go. that being yes. said, I'm going uh, with a tiger. I mean, it's a fucking tiger. I don't know if it'll win for me, but it's not getting upset in the first round. KB? Yeah, I love cats. I think uh, John Jones had like a glorified tiger. It was a cat, but it was sick. Mm-hmm. Still uh, does. Give me the tiger. I mean, when that thing dies, I'm going to turn it into a rug too. So. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Yes. You see the video of like somebody took one, they were done doing a safari thing or whatever, and like a tiger just comes running out and they could freeze frames right as the tiger's about to attack one of like the guides or some shit. Fine. Fuck this. Yeah, wow. it comes out of the tall grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was the tall grass. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Jay? I kind of want to go fox due to size, but tiger is awesome. Um, yeah, just the way they look. They are really big, but they're, you know, at the same time, they're cats. So they could probably be pretty, like, cuddly and also playful, uh, but also have an intimidating roar. So, yeah, I think Tiger's got to win. I did just realize I am allergic to cats. I wonder Ooh. if that transfers over to <laughs> Hey, That would suck. Would to have a pet tiger, but you just can't be around. You just keep sneezing every time you're around. I mean, that level, that amount of cat would kill you. The yeah. allergies it would produce. Think about, Is like, it- a house cat oh. versus a tiger. That's, like... Ten times. That's, that's, that's the that's, math. Yeah. That's yes. A, people that's, allergic that's to lethal. cats are, are allergic to lions and tigers. That's a damn it's lethal, really? lethal yeah. dose. You'd be six feet under. Fuck. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. I never really? thought that would transfer. That's crazy. Makes Funny sense. way to kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Just owning a tiger. Just go kiss one at the zoo. <laughs> Did you guys know that catnip works on like lions and stuff like that? Ah, uh, no. I saw I saw videos of that like a couple. Interesting. I don't know if they were real or not, but it was like I think two days ago. Let's use the next time. Go to I've never city. understood what catnip is. It's like drugs for them. That's oh, like wow. what does that mean? Like they whenever they smell it, it makes them like all goofy and shit. Like why do, why do they like try eat it? They like eat it. They like yeah, they eat it. I don't, I don't know why. It, it, they, it makes them like hallucinate. Not hallucinate, but it makes them like very. Um, uh, I don't know. It makes him feel good. How come it doesn't work on us? Uh, I don't know. You know different, <laughs> different biological systems in every, almost every way. I guess. Huh. <laughs> we should try. Yeah. We should try. Yeah, how's the cum? It doesn't. Work. Well, I mean, they, wait a minute. Why is the cum? It doesn't work on us. But, I mean, like if you Just you can get animals, you can get animals drunk. You can if they if they get secondhand weed smoke, True. they get high. So like it's still okay. a lung. Like they still. So I don't understand. I would kind of want to try catnip. Mm, yeah. I have some. I'll bring some in tomorrow. I have some in my apartment. Let's burn some catnip. Yeah, mm. just burn, see if it has any effect. Yeah. Um, speaking of, so let's take it from our next sponsor before we get into their uh, playoff round here. Three Chi. All right, fellows, let's talk about what I believe is probably at this point like our longest running sponsor, Three Chi. The days of long road trips to rec states for overpriced dispensaries are over. Three Chi offers premium THC products to get delivered straight to your door, including dispensary grade Delta Nine THC. The same effects as traditional marijuana. It's hemp derived, making it federally legal and that much easier to get your hands on. And the best part, 3 chi is giving Barstool listeners an exclusive 5% off all products when you use code STOOL5 at 3 chicom uh, when you check out. Experience cannabis perfected now. You must be 21 years old to purchase. I'll reference the same thing I always talk about anytime we talk about 3 chi The rice crispy treats and all their edibles are awesome. Really, really good. Highly, highly recommend them. Again, Use code STOOL5 at 3 chicom and experience cannabis perfected now. Must be 21 years old to purchase. What a segue. What a beautiful segue. Mm. Uh, thanks oh, to our friends good. at 3 Uh Now we get into our playoffs. And it works on people. Yeah. Wait, it does? Yeah. Wait, it needs to be way higher concentration, doesn't it? Or something like that? Uh, people use it as a filler for weed for lighter effects. Oh my! Oh, so it's a way of achieving lacing weed. With Weed's catnip? too strong anyway. Yeah, so that's a that's a good way to achieve mid, which is the hardest thing to find nowadays. <laughs> this is this is a uh, yeah. related story, but in high school, my cat ripped up one of its toys, and catnip got all over the floor. My mom thought it was weed. She like had it on the table when I got home. She was like, "You need to talk about this." She's like, "What's going on here?" <laughs> like smell she it. Don't, she don't. Know, that's what I was about to say. She don't Dude, smell she, of weed. That happened to me, smell weed. but it was even worse. My mom thought I didn't have rice, and I put my broken phone in quinoa. <laughs> and she thought it was fucking weed. She quinoa, quinoa, not yeah. even close. I'm in not the even park. close to weed. She don't color. burn. Yeah, she no, she does not burn. <laughs> kind of a dork. Yeah, Owen's mom major nerd. <laughs> I'm a fan of her though. <laughs> uh, all right, that was brave of you, Rudy. I know. Yeah, yeah, I can't I believe you. I it makes me win. think you might not like her. How much yeah. you went out of your way to yeah, say that fan. you do? I assumed. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody clarifies they like their mom. <laughs> I had to clarify because she yeah. basically shelled me out as a mercenary. You know, it was like I was talking to someone different. So yeah. I had to clar- clarify right, that yeah. I was still a fan, even though she put out a hit on baby foxes. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right, first match of our playoffs. Uh, it's Jesus. the cheetah versus the wasp. I like we. Uh, um, first, let's go you, Stephen Che first. Uh, the wasp versus the cheetah. What are you picking? This is tough. Single wasp. I really, do like, I really do like the cheetah, but the single wasp is just fo- so appealing, mainly due to lifespan and size. Um, it, yeah, I because all of these pets would at some point have diminishing returns and the novelty would wear off. And then you're just like, shit, I have this enormous animal I have to feed. Thank you. And yep. Thank you, Che. People forget about the novelty time. wearing off. I think not having yeah. a pet should be on here and it would win. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> yeah. Easily. Yeah. yeah, and Wasp yeah. basically is that at 23 days. So I'm going to go with Wasp. One for the Wasps, huh? 23 days is an old-ass Wasp, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Geriatric Wasp. I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go Cheetah. Gonna go with cheetah, the cheetah. 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 The, the, I mean, looking at it from the novelty aspect of it, once once it wears off, the the constant buzzing of a fucking wasp going everywhere. Twenty I mean, days. Buzzing, <laughs> not less than that. <laughs> I'd, rather, <laughs> I'd rather take fifty years of taking care of a cheetah than twenty. I mean, it literally is buzzing. As long as it's as long as it's awake, it's buzzing. I will I will note that in this case though, like if any of you had the, a, like a cheetah that was a pet and I killed it, I would feel like shit. But like if I killed your, if you came in with a wasp, I would go out of my way to kill yeah. it. Yeah, but I, I he, would not feel bad. He'd get you. He might. He might. Oh, he might not. I'll <laughs> <laughs> stick my cheetah on him. You never know. Um, so you're gonna go with the cheetah, uh, KB. 
single wasp think. or cheetah? I thought we, we originally said it would be cool to have a, a wasp follow you around. To like sting people. Yeah. And you like sick it. Yeah. Over and it like just goes and stinks someone. And then you're just good for like the rest. Like that, You still be the dies. guy with a wasp hovering around. You'd look Only for gross. three weeks. Yeah. You don't, you guys are assuming you bring your pets everywhere. You leave it at home, I guess. I don't yeah. like buzzes. I hate the mm. sound. So does my girl. That's why I switched. You're just like, <laughs> That's why I switched. So you're going with? <laughs> um, the, wa- <laughs> the wasp. They're going oh, with the wasp. wasp. Wow. Ooh. Tommy? Yeah, I didn't consider how annoying maybe the buzz of a wasp would be, but I guess I'd be fucking allergic to this cheetah also. <laughs> it would. <laughs> this is yep. kind of a no-win situation for me here. Wow. You can't really take anything that has fur. Yeah. 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 I you guess just, I got to go allergic to bees? You seem like you'd be allergic to bees. No, surprisingly not. Mm. Uh, I was stunned when I got stung by a bee and everything was pretty much fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'll go wasp. Another one yes. for the wasp. But I re- no, I'm, I'll get allergy shots. I'll go cheetah and I'll just get allergy shots. Swap into the cheetah. Two to You're going to regret that. Yep. <laughs> Rudy. Um, I understand what KB's saying about, you know, the ease of having a wasp. It's only 20 days. A cheetah is a very big commitment. But in the end, I, I'm looking for companionship. And I think that my cheetah and I would have a very lifelong bond. And that is something that I've avoided. I've been trying to fill in my life. And uh, so I think that just the cheetah, you know, is just such a cool animal. So I did a cheetah on your Twitch stream too. Exactly. Yeah. No one's. Yeah. I pull up on Twitch and there's a fucking cheetah standing there with headphones on. Mm-hmm. Cheetah's lifespan is 11 years. You'd get attached. Early death. Not yeah. that early. It's 11 <laughs> years. I mean, a pretty long time. I'm not. You know, you, what is the saying where it's like it's better to love than. And lost. Better have loved and yeah. lost than not loved at all. Not loved at all. So false. I, no, that can't be true. Nope. That's what the the quote is. Right. That is what the quote is. Not necessarily agreeing with. Yeah. It. Well, yeah. this is a couple loveless homies right here. So I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm right. I'm gonna go with cheetah. Nick. Wasp. <laughs> Single wasp. They can sting multiple times, and you guys are all fucked. Yeah. Owen. <sighs> this is tough. The novelty would wear off, but I would, I guess, try and find a loving home for it and take the cheetah. Cheetah is going to move on. Uh, next up, we have the big monkeys, the big apes. And again, lowland gorillas, silverback, orangutans, all that, versus their arch nemesis, the small monkeys. Oh, whoa. Oh, I can't geez. believe, though, that you just oh. you just said you were going to sick your wasp on me when I have a fucking cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a sting. I'll be like, ow, that hurt a little bit. What happens ball. when pets bite people? They put them down. Mm. Oh, dude, we're going off the grid. We're Roman Polanski, we're going to France. <laughs> <laughs> beyond, beyond extradition. Yeah. Uh, so the big monkeys versus the small monkeys. Owen, which one are you taking? Small monkey. Small monkey. Why specifically? Do you think it's just less work? Um, yeah, like I liked the idea of a lion or a massive tiger sort of as just a furniture piece, but a pet should be something I could play with. Mm. A nice small monkey would well, be like nice. Like the sugar glider type thing that like... Yeah. Just ch- yeah. Yeah, I do like that idea. Like a massive gorilla he would dominate my apartment Mm -hmm. he would it would be his place yep nick i love the uh little monkey that gets like shampooed under the sink Mm -hmm. a a good video yes uh definitely small monkey big monkey's too smart too human too human rudy um i i'm gonna go with the gorilla i still am just fixated on this this vision i have of being in the club with a gorilla I can't get that out romstein's Dad. playing the second yeah. he said it like i could exactly yeah hey, romstein that's like i, I mean know. it's a very big gorilla would love romstein yeah He's right come on by the giant yeah. prosthetic dick he uses at concerts or whatever and i i worry that if i just had a small monkey it would just seem like clout chasing because though it's like mm-hmm. the new meta on tiktok is just to have a small monkey so uh, for that reason, I would want to just be different and just have a silverback gorilla because I've never seen someone have one. Wildly cumbersome animal animal to own. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't get that club image out of my head ever since Rudy said it. And also, to your point, a lot of people are doing TikTok monkey content. Not as much people are doing t- – or nobody is doing TikTok gorilla content. Like ape content? If you I don't just, want to uh, make wait, TikTok no. content at all. So how does that apply to, <laughs> yeah. to us? Well, you learn at our meeting last month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going with gorilla. The, the ape actually does have a negative connotation the more I think about it with all the NFT stuff, but I'm just going to choose to wipe that from my brain. Oh, the bored apes. Yeah, like I'm just going to think about it as pure, pure as big gorillas. Uh, Tommy can- claiming he got shadow banned on TikTok because his ape video got 12 <laughs> likes. Yeah. This is, I'm the first guy with an ape. 12 <laughs> likes. Uh, it's not even possible. Yeah. 
the the small monkey is the, still the top dog. Yes. Small monkey, three to two right now. Za. Uh, I'm gonna go the bigger the gorillas. I need some I need some presence in my life. Mm. Oh yeah, Za. Small dude, so it'd be great to be able to ride around with some muscle. I love the bodyguard idea. Yes, bodyguard idea is huge. It's amazing. All right, Jay, you get to break the tie. Small monkeys by a pretty wide, wide margin, I think. You can also bring them to the market. And uh, what's the uh, one in Aladdin? Is it Abu? Um, Actually, yeah, you, you're not going to waste a lot of your money on food for for them because they don't eat much. Cleanup's going to be really easy. They can be helpful and you know grab things like the remote control around the house. Small monkey. I think we like the monkey from Pirates of the Caribbean as well. Jay, would you be mad if you walked in and Small Monkey was giving your wife a back rub? Just sort of procedural, not that sensual. Medical. <laughs> but she was kind of loving it. Uh, Probably. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, good honesty. I'm, uh, just, I'm disgusted that the, the ape is not moving on right now. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, so, Nick, the <laughs> small monkeys won. Small monkeys going up against the cheetah to get into the finals of this matchup. Jay, you go first. Cheetah. Cheetah. Easy. Uh, Perfect size. Not too small. Not too big. Very athletic. Very nimble. Also intimidating. Can be friends with animals. Um, Cheetah. I'm going uh, small monkey for every point he made. (laughs) 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 Zah. Oh, Both man. of these are like cheetah. Picks, yeah. cheetah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that big of a fan of of, of monkeys, small and, monkeys. Again, it would be like it's not gonna steal your food and shit. Like yeah. it's tamed, but yeah, they are domesticated still. cheetah. It looks cool. Yeah, and I mean, like, I can do tricks with it, make it run 120 k's an hour. With my friends and all that nonsense. Yep, Tommy, small monkey, easy. I think, I think it's my number one left probably the allergy factor is big here as well mm-hmm. um and the tiktok content this is by far out of all the brackets we've done the most divided votes we've had yeah like, almost everyone has come down yeah. to a tiebreaker. usually we know which one will win 15 minutes into the show yes right? exactly um all right rudy uh nice i've monkey. i've always respected power and I've always found it a, a, attractive. You're a weird dude. Yeah. <laughs> and, that's why you like being hung up in the newer massage. Uh, that's yeah. why you like sea otter so much. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, for that reason, you know, I, I just would love Wait, to what do you go- the cheetah. What? A small monkey could hypnotize a cheetah. No, he couldn't. He, 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 <laughs> I, no, he wouldn't. I, yeah, I think it could. No, no, Easy. No, my, my cheetah would eat your little pygmy monkey like a Chipotle burrito in just one gulp. So no, that, that, the cheetahs cannot be... Apologize to his monkey. That was... That was off. That was, that was oh, out he tried of the that, that yeah. was He tried to hypnotize that was his monkey, too, though. Yeah, that was he a bit... His monkey. Just, yeah. I like the idea of him just sitting there with a stopwatch and, he, and his cheetah eats it. Dude, having a the little noise. monkey that hypnotizes yeah. is sick. Yeah. Wait, wait, my small monkey would just put yours to like into a comfortable nap, and yours would eat mine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You, hmm. I hate. I, I, Interesting. That is unfortunately very cool. The idea of a small monkey hypnotist. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is really good. Okay. Uh, the, a hypnotist small monkey. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's that my is, answer. That is very cool. I can't even think. Of, I, mean, I, I can't even think of a cool thing a cheetah would do to counteract that. Maybe he like run away. He can run fast or like teleport <laughs> or something. But it's fuck. I, I still am going to go with cheetah. But KB really really threw a wrench in my mm-hmm. three for cheetah mine is a hypnotist yeah. and, a, and a ventriloquist <laughs> <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a smaller monkey <laughs> all right all right how about this that's my, also hypnotizing my cheetah can do rubik's cubes fast <laughs> really quickly so so can little sass <laughs> yeah but imagine that like his little paws just like moving it around really quick out of everything on this list that could actually do a rubik's cube it is Definitely a monkey, a monkey. <laughs> a monkey. I know, but that would <laughs> the only one that can yeah, that would, i know but that, that would fuck i up. bet you a monkey already has done yeah this. Guess, oh, yeah 100 percent. but that, that oh. if, if, if his monkey sees my cheetah doing a rubik's cubes it would fuck it up mentally so badly because he's like how is he doing this he doesn't even have his, like thumbs so monkey, let's see. I was going to go into this thinking of like diet feeding like you got meats fresh meats a lot more monkey you just fucking flick at a raspberry bananas yeah um, cheetahs are awesome looking the, the coat they have is beautiful but uh, when KB brought up a hypnotist monkey it's not something I thought about yeah. um, it's it's a no brainer <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. little hypnotist monkey yeah it's, it's mm-hmm. just delightful to picture yeah, it is it's, you get to break the tie. Uh, hypnotist monkey. <laughs> the hypnotist <laughs> monkey's gonna move. And that'll be my vote in the finals as well. Yeah. Chance. And, and a monkey could walk the dog. Yeah, and a monkey could walk the dog with a yo-yo. 
<laughs> yeah. Cat's cradle. Could it go to CVS though? Yeah. Yes, yes, easily. Absolutely. Okay. It would be welcomed. Right, like if like the CVS employees would probably be pissed off if, like an eagle screeched in there, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, they'd be delighted by a little monkey hopping in with a little tote. Yeah, and he wouldn't even he, <laughs> yeah. wouldn't, he, uh, he wouldn't even have to pay. He would just get to the cashier and hit be like, oh, yeah, hypnotize, yeah, hypnotize them. Them. free. You could take over the world. Yeah, yeah. These uh, condoms are free. And look at the monkey out of there. Uh, all right, next up, Owen, you go first. Tiger versus uh, the panda. Oh, it's a tough one. I was hoping to vote for hypnotist monkey again. You'll have your uh, chance. Panda. You'll have your chance. The panda. Yeah, it is. Just um, cool. it's big old teddy bear. Yeah, it's kind of aloof, fluffy. Bean bag like I don't know if you, that was about panda, but I like yeah. that description of an animal. It's That's the closest uh, to bean bag. Uh, panda. Yeah. And uh, again, Rudy. Yeah, I think I'm going to go panda just for the fact that cats in general are always so standoffish. They nag you no matter how hard you try to garner their attention. They're always going to look at you as a second class citizen, which is something that is true throughout time. And no one's been able to break through that. So for that reason, I'm going to go panda just because he would be a better hang. Hmm. Yeah, That's a fair pick. Send it. Panda. Panda's going to move on, but it's my number one still. It's not even fair. <laughs> not even fair. Stephen Shea? Are red, so are red pandas are included in this? Red pandas yeah. are included under the panda umbrella. All right, so I'd have to go with panda then. Yep. Well, it wouldn't matter because panda is, is clean sweep, basically. Uh, all right, the next up we have to go up against that, the T-Rex versus the eagle. Uh, Oof. <laughs> Stephen Shea, you go first. The T-Rex or an eagle, which one do you want as a pet? Oof. Um... So are we taking the selling the Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, off the table? I feel like, I guess you could do whatever you want, but if you had a tamed Tyrannosaurus Rex, I feel like you'd want to keep it. Your kids would already be attached. You're going to sell it? No, I'd, I'd go down the history books as the guy who brought back T-Rexes. I'd be Why a do you want to bring back T-Rexes? Rex. Yeah, that would you suck. That, would, no, that would wouldn't be... bring any good. Have you, Have seen you not me? seen Jurassic Park? Right. I have, and I would be, I would be John Hammond in that. So, yeah. Who, he I, wasn't the one that brought him back. He was against it. Wait, John Hammond. John Hammond made Jurassic Park. Correct. Oh, that's who made it. Oh, you're I thought he was. You're be. thinking about the yeah, yeah. So John Hammond made. Oh, I apologize. Park, down as kind of yeah. the bad guy. He was like kind of a bad guy. He's an old guy. Yeah, old, he's dude. An old guy. Yeah, no, he's he went down as kind of the bad guy. Incidentally, it wasn't like he thought it through enough. Basically, right. Yes. So, um, yeah, I would want to go down the history books. You work your whole life and you try to be remembered for something. Having a T-Rex, you would be remembered for something, especially if you sold it and then it got rich off. Yeah, the, you wouldn't have a wiki page if you just owned it. Not eagle. if you sold it. I, don't I think know. if you kept it, yeah, you really 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 everybody knows yes. that guy. You, you no, might get a wiki No one knows the guy Name who the sold any. who sold the Honus Wagner T206 card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the T-Rex of collectors. Name the one who sold the Princess Diana Beanie Baby. <laughs> oh, it is. Mm-hmm. Well, that's yeah. that's not something that's like extinct and like bringing it back. The like, Princess Diana Beanie Baby is extinct. It, it, they are kind of Princess like Diana. Is. It's yeah, like, these sure. like massive it's cultural Diana. sales. Like I, I don't think Stephen Chase, that, that Bucks, Bucks film, film Twitter guy who brought back a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> <or what>? <laughs> <laughs> be pretty sick. I'm going with that. Yep, Za. Uh, uh, eagle. I'm gonna go eagle. The dinosaurs, the, even back in the paper mache making days, just never did it for me. Never did it for you. Wow. For some reason, I don't know why. I never watched Jurassic Park. I've never, never, yeah. You'll enjoy it when you get to it. KB? I'm going to be the guy with the T Rex. It's. Uh oh. Tommy's turn. I like the idea of my clumsy T Rex with his allergies. Both of us have to avoid cats together. <laughs> just like walking around the city. Like he's like a lovable, clumsy T Rex. I really. I like the idea of that. Uh, and again, it's a fucking T-Rex. They are extinct, and you'd be the... Per- well, I guess four of the four. Yeah. Well, no, Che just lost... Oh, no, Che picked... Che picked T-Rex. Oh, yeah, T-Rex. the big you four. The core four still have our T-Rex. Like. Rudy? Um, the T-Rex... I-, I would be more inclined to have the T-Rex if it were a life-size version of the one from Toy Story, where he's okay. just, like, green and, and nice. But, like, an actual T-Rex, is there's just nothing cute or pleasing about it to me. It's just, like, a scaly, overgrown freak. And has ridiculous arms, so I'm gonna go with the eagle just because it just it just I I'm they're extinct for a reason. They had their time. This is gonna sound dumb, maybe, but how do we know the T Rex's skin were scaly? We only have their fossils. We have their bones. They were most likely they were feathered. Right. They were most likely feathered. They could have had fur. They could have had very no. soft fur. No. no, they would have been feathered. Could have been corduroy. Could have been corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> Velvet. Wait, are furry T Rexes on the table? 
I think a furry, <laughs> a furry clumsy T Rex might be on the table. Yeah, I mean, I'll be. I mean, that changes things. Like if it's a plaid T Rex, that would also change things. But imagine a T Rex trying to hypnotize you. This tiny ass. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Uh, couldn't couldn't do work. It. No. Can't get enough swing on the pendulum. Uh, well, I mean, if it's if it has feathers, then that I mean, still, it's like a freakish giant yeah. emu. So no, I'm still gonna go with the eagle just because I respect birds. Two for the eagle, Nick. I'm a bird guy. Got to go with the birds. Another one for the eagle. You get to break it again, Owen. T Rex. Mm-hmm. Whoa. A little bit of thought in it, but T Rex. Now T Rex is going up against the panda to get into the finals, Owen. Panda. <laughs> Just as much thought. Panda, Nick? Major panda. Big panda. It's it's, it's a no brainer. It's it's a panda. Panda. I want my clumsy T Rex. T Rex? I want my good T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Za? I gotta go panda. Another for Panda that's going to move on, but Shay? I would have gone down the history books with the T-Rex. <laughs> yep. So now we got Panda versus the small monkeys uh, in the finals round. It's a good final. This is. I, I think we, had, we had some trouble a couple weeks ago in marinara yeah. sauce. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Won the bracket. <laughs> Won the best What happened to that? I left that early. was an interesting experiment because none of us would have put marinara in our top five, but it yep. still won the bracket. <laughs> yeah. Made no sense. <laughs> Matchups. Match match magical matchups. Match yeah. yeah. It was like the like the 15 seed or something. It made it was ridiculous. I got so many people mad. I'm like, you fake fucking yeah. Italian. You yeah. don't know the difference between between Modernod and gravy. I, bl- I blogged that as and when I editorialized the blog. I said, I'm taking away ta- Tommy's Italian card <laughs> for thinking that it's uh, gravy's marinara. Um, all right, so Stephen Chay, you go first in the finals matchup. Panda versus small monkey. Small monkeys. So let me make the argument for the red panda, which is in the panda family and part of this. The red panda is essentially a small... Dog. It, it, yeah. it, it's... It, and it's not even a small pain. It's it's kind of like a fox. It's kind of a dark reddish shoe. It has a raccoon ish tail. Um, they climb on trees. They're they're very pleasant and very nice. We actually adopted the red panda at the Turtleback Zoo um, for the year. It might have expired already though. But um, very nice, very nice animals. Very pleasant. Also, uh, an Asian halftime performer at mostly basketball Back games. <laughs> Um, yeah, which is very hypnotizing and enjoyable to watch. I would. Whoa, that's huge. That's huge. So, uh, stolen value. So, for all those reasons, I have to go with the panda. One for the panda, za. Yeah, I'm, I'm, to make- I'm leaning. I'm leaning pandas. I mean, monkeys, man. They're 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 too busy. They they're all over the place. It'll be jumping around everywhere. I want a pet that I can tell you'll sit and it will sit. Come here, chill with me. Chill. I feel like monkeys, even when you domesticate them, like they have to still just they can hypnotize you. So. <laughs> I mean, they can no, do anything. All that too. That, I mean, there's that aspect of it. But I mean, pandas are just the an battle of the hypnotists. Pandas are all time. I, I, I'm gonna go with the panda. Panda. Yeah, it's still a panda. Panda. I don't know what pet I would want more than a panda. Mm-hmm. Like a red bull girl. I do. <laughs> Like a as bang a energy girl. <laughs> <laughs> no. A Red Bull girl is more of a pet than a person. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> with the backpack and the car. Did she come with the car? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tommy. A Red Bull yeah, girl. And, uh, I, I just, also, I've never seen a Red Panda before. I just looked at it. Adorable. They're fucking so cute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was heavy. Just looking t- at the Red Panda, the Asian performer. <laughs> so cute. I can't yeah, get over so it. fucking sexy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll go panda. I mean, the idea of just cuddling them up with a panda mm-hmm. is awesome. Panda, they already won, but Rudy? Uh, yeah, no, I, I've i been on the panda grind. I've been very anti-monkey, but KB bringing up a hypnotizing monkey is... Uh, I forgot that the monkey could hypnotize. Mine. Yeah. Mine. Yours can. Yours <laughs> Yeah. If it was in here right now, this wouldn't even be a contest. No. Yeah, it'd be over. <laughs> be like do you, wait, would you want a pet that could hypnotize you? Yes, like hypnotize no. you to sleep. To do things. Hip- oh, to want. go to sleep. Yeah, make me quit. to go to sleep to work I'll out. Smoke. I could start the smoking. It could make me quit. Excuse, yeah. like I got hypnotized by my monkey. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> couldn't make. It. Yeah, you. That would be the best excuse. I was on my way. I was dressed. <laughs> Yeah. And fucking monkey, my monkey hypnotized. hypnotized. You fucking yeah. got me. <laughs> sorry, I came early. Uh, my monkey we, hypnotized me to bust and There's no way your monkey keeps hypnotizing me. Yo, <laughs> it's always that's all it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I should have never gave him that little pendulum. <laughs> <laughs> what if it makes your life just infinitely better though? That's what we're saying. It's right. like it's like invest all your money into Bitcoin. Yeah, again, it tells you to do the wise choice. Like, uh, yeah, put me in a fugue state. Um, 
I for that reason I I still am stuck on the Japanese bath monkeys, monkeys yeah. those are so cute and so peaceful and they don't Zaw is right i would be annoyed by a monkey just jumping around constantly mm -hmm. but those japanese bath monkeys are just like they just sit there and they look like they're meditating they're so peaceful and the idea of him also being able to hypnotize he is like a little medallion around his neck yeah and i'm just he's i'm just petting him slowly i just think that that garners more interest if you have a hypnotizing japanese bath monkey than just a panda it's so. also like we're taking out of effect the small monkeys that wear like the fur coats Right, yeah, exactly. Oh my god, the IKEA oh, monkey? Yeah, yeah like yeah, those exactly. are cool as shit, man. Yeah, you can dress them up, dress them down. So I'm gonna go with the Japanese bath hypnotizing monkey. Monkey getting haircut meme was the one where I that was truly harmless and just hilarious. It was monkey awesome. Getting haircut time. Uh Nick. Hypnotizing monkey. Hypnotizing <laughs> monkey. He's gonna hypnotizing lose. Hypnotizing monkey. Wow. Closer vote. All four of you guys went. Unless I know, I forgot about the hypnotizer. Monkeys are. So you're gonna switch? Permanently little kids. You could keep them on your shoulder and mm -hmm. hypnotize. So you're switching to the hypnotizing monkey. Yeah, fuck, yeah. I'll go to the hypnotizing yeah. monkey. Yeah. Anyone else want to switch while it's time? I mean, a small monkey just flipped to a win in the finals. Any of you guys want to be on the right side of history? I'll be on the wrong side of history. <laughs> you know, what if you're the guy monkey. who sold the hypnotizing monkey, brought that back instead of the T Rex? That would get you more money. Yeah, that would. Yeah. For sure. Out, uh, scientists would study him. Um, so the winner of episode 45 is the hypnotizing monkey. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. <he's laughs> no a kidding. Boy. Uh, we'll be back next week with a brand new episode. Thanks to Rudy Enza for joining in with us. Thank, thank you for having me. Honestly, uh, Rudy. Thank you. Appreciate, you appreciate it. That was fun. And uh, Stephen Shea, don't let people fart in your face. Yeah.